and I'm looking forward to smelling that plastic. Hello and welcome to episode 59 of Transformers, the show we're joined today by Fingers on Plastic, Paddy and Simon. Welcome to the show, gents. Hiya. Hiya. Hi. Thanks for being on. Right on today's show, we've got a new masterpiece, Optimus Prime. Plus, we've got news that Hasbro Pulse has come to the UK. We've got all the pickups uh, with a discussion at the end about how we got into uh, masterpiece collecting and what we like about it. And first of all, it's time to start with the news. I talk some TV, and now the news. Don't touch that dial. Right, now onto the news. Andy, who is this? Uh, so we're looking at the Hasbro mainline news, and this is the reveal that we had this week for Transformers Select Star Convoy. We've got lots of lovely photos of it. It looks quite nice. He's got guns on his shoulders. It always makes Prime better. Is remold it... of the Power of the Primes uh, leader, Optimus Prime. Yeah, but didn't they already have this guy out like last year? Funnily enough, before the show, we were discussing that very fact, weren't we, lads? Yeah, it's... so what have they done differently apart from make it look more shiny? I think that's it. I think it's shinier. I think, yeah, I think they finished painting. <laughs> Finish painting it. it that old paint trick. Jobs <laughs> yeah. And yeah. stick it in a box that says Generation Selects and then charge 20 quid more for it. This is just a uh, car, is it? Uh, well, yeah, I mean, it'll get him obviously come over here. I'm sure there's pre orders up already. If they're not, they'll be up soon. But I suppose if you missed out on it the first time, you want to get it. It does look very good. You know, it's not an ugly bot, is it? But yeah, I don't know. What do you think, Simon and uh, Paddy? Have you, do you guys just kind of collect the masterpiece, or would you well, pick up something like this? I like it, but I thought the Power of the Primes uh, Prime was a bit gash. I just, I didn't mm. like it. All. It just wasn't for me. I mean, but this looks nice because they have finished painting it. And that's it's one of my mm. bugbears with Hasbro that they don't paint things anymore. But it, it looks good enough. It looks decent. And I'm sure lots of people will buy it. Paddy almost certainly will. <laughs> uh, Odomus will definitely buy it. Mm. So, <laughs> I, yeah. I'm not going to buy this. It just looks absolutely awful. I, I don't know. I don't think it looks this. terrible, but I just don't think there's well, enough different about it to make. Yeah, when I look at that, I look. At, uh, do you know what they've been good? They made the little prime. They've got their like Orion packs, like power from the primes, and I think it would have been um, a lot bit better. But the trouble is, he's going to look smaller than the air fries prime, which is fantastic, and the siege prime, which is fantastic. So you're going to want them in the bigger mode, aren't you? And he's just going to be too big to fit in with... I, you know, I, I like Chug, but I also like my Chugs to match in height or at least be close. And he's just not. I'd rather they did, like I think Paul mentioned, a Power Master Prime. Yeah, well, it should... I mean, you look at that mould all the time and you, you just think that should have been Power Master Prime. I mean, the, the way it even kind of goes together was so reminiscent of the whole Power Master Prime. But this is a yeah. different continuity, isn't it? This is the Japanese continuity. So it's it what we said last week. Look. We said last week we, we think they're going to do it if they do a Power Master Prime. It's like you know it's coming. Like they're doing all this first of all as they do. They release the unpopular molds and then they release the popular molds because they're starting to hone in on what they like about it. Why so, would you torture it, someone like that? For why would you do the crap molds and then go? Haha, I know the popular one and then. Because Hasbro always do that. They're testing your commitment, mate. That's it. You know. <laughs> Next up, we've got the is it Paleotrex repaint re re mold slightly of uh, uh into rather. Transmutate, is that what it's called? Transmutate. Um, which is a Beast Wars character who is apparently quite beloved by fans of Beast Wars. And obviously being yep. a huge fan of Beast Wars, as I am, not. Um, I do know a little bit about it. I know, I know a little bit about the background of it. But, I mean, those of you who are Beast Wars fans, what do you think? Does it work? Does it work as that character? Or... In the, char the character in the show towered above everything. He was like... He was like a, like a half human, half humanoid sort of like beast mutate, and like he was a little bit like almost like a like Autobot Spike in that sort of mentality. Um, but he was just huge, and like they were trying to sway him from side to side. So, um, so it depends on the scale. I think he's gonna be is he the same size as Meg? He's gonna be deluxe. He's gonna no, be deluxe okay. size. Yeah, I mean, it yeah. looks it looks to someone who isn't as familiar with the character, it looks like something from the nightmares. I mean, Jesus Christ. It's it's a horror show, isn't it? 
he screams. Uh, he screams in the show. Really That's his it, though, massive powers that he does a massive <laughs> scream, and he doesn't. So that his birth was like quite. Um, horrible and so that's why he can't transform but he grows up and he has this brutal ability to absolutely destroy everything because is, is he a, like a proto form that hasn't like fully formed so no it was just his birth it. apparently his birth was so bad and his upbringing was so hostile what deep thing for transformers show to have that he will never ever be able to transform he'll never have that ability so, so he was born or created yeah, yeah boom well that must have been mm. a very intense deep episode, his so. parents <laughs> yeah. Mum and Dad. He could Phil do it. Oh look! Yeah, he true, he? Teeth look a little bit yellow, like he's been smoking a bit too much. <laughs> There's nothing wrong with that. <laughs> <laughs> been on the old Benson and Hedges. He has been. It, 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 was, it was the nineties, so I think that was still allowed on TV in kids', yeah. kids TV back then. So. then more, more Beast Wars <laughs> news which was uh, these Beast Wars vintage figures that um, seem to be coming. I think somebody said it's near Christmas that the release date is going to be. But you've got uh, vintage Optimus Primal, T-Rex, Megatron, Rat Trap, and Cheetor. So it's, it just says vintage. I don't know if we actually know exactly what that means, whether it's a reissue of the original toys or whether it's the new ones. I think, it's different be a I think it's going to be a reissue of the vintage toys and I hope not because they're not as good as the new updates they'll be big and plasticky but it's interesting I mean because but you think why not say reissue but then why say vintage when you've already got T-Rex Megatron out already mm. and isn't there another version of Cheetor coming out or was it the Netflix Cheetor which is going to have slightly different well some say improved paint job yeah. So if this is another Cheetor, surely they wouldn't use the same mould again and just repaint it a bit. Well, all right, it's Hasbro. They probably would. But, <laughs> I but don't you wouldn't have thought question. So. <laughs> you wouldn't stick vintage. Or, well, you, I guess, well, you, you're going for the nostalgia money, aren't you? Uh, anyway, you wait, so the, you, wait, you wait for the classic one to come out after this, mate. You've got vintage, classic. <laughs> There's a few other ones as well. Turtleneck. Broken. Then we've got Masterpiece Skids, the <laughs> prototype photos that came out. So this is going to be where you lads will probably take a bit more of an interest in this. Looking pretty good. Yeah, uh, is it? I think. Well, I, I think it looks quite. It looks quite. Uh, the, the car mode certainly looks kind of if like you, what I'd imagine Skid's car mode. If you like. think back to so X Transports, yes, they fucked up Coot a little bit. Um, but here we go. Obviously, the comparison. But their Skids are actually quite good. And they released, and they've also, and, and Skids came with a little extra little bike as well. So I, I think the X Transport Skids is pr it's gonna be pretty hard to actually, you know, beat. Because if you look, even if you look at the cartoon, and you look at the arms, look how the X Transport's done the arms, and then Takara has the arms wrong. If you look at the cartoon. I think X Transport has nailed the cartoon mold really. So it's gonna be hard. I don't know. It, it depends on the price point as well. I, I, it's, it's a weird character for Takara to go at, right? So, I, just, I, I don't know what they're thinking. Yeah, but the arms are quite low down in the cartoon version, aren't they? With Takada and both... Um, I meant where the wheels are. So, the wheels. I, I meant yeah, the wheels. What, what I'm saying is, the arms are low down right, in the cartoon, and both Transport and Takada have moved them up to a much better position, and maybe Takada is just thinking that it looks slightly better like that. I, I just and maybe the I arms don't... can turn as well. The hinge might turn like a lot of the figures are as well. I think it's got. I think that the the Takara Hasbro or whatever your, uh, version has more. If you look at the surfaces of it, I know it's just a prototype, but it looks more detailed to me. Um, if if cool. you're going for that detail, the, the Transports one looks to me more like what I'd imagine if you were going for a cartoon accurate mm. kind but, of. What they are, but ha the Takara and and Masterpiece have been going too accurate. If you look at what they've been releasing recently, it's tune and articulation over the aesthetics. You know, if you look at the MP Bumblebee, they massacred the way that thing looked from the side or the back, right, <laughs> to get the articulation uh, and the way that it looked uh, compared to, you know, and, and, and as you get, but, no, but gem, gem, you know, he brought up a point and generally it's, it's just weird for Takara to do this. I agree with dark. Andy. We all made point, Andy. We're all done. We'll Thank see. We'll see at the end. You're just wrong, Alexis. Moving on. We, whatever, we, whatever, I mean, whatever. Whatever. Don't, shush, don't talk shush. to me. Fred, Children, Fred, Children. Fred, 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 Children. Fred, you're, both, Fred. you're both pretty. Shush. Now, uh, we did talk about this last week, and we did kind of predict that this was what we were going to be. I don't think we were the only ones, but we did talk about it and predict it last week. So we've got the the official announcement that we're getting a, a masterpiece, Bumblebee Optimus Prime. Um, and, of course, immediately, as we all do in the fandom, we started <laughs> picking holes in it. 
So <laughs> it does look good from on the, nope. you know, you look at that picture, but then you move on a little bit. You're thinking bit kind of, to me, that looks like there's lots and lots of pieces. It doesn't look like it's kind of what it's I'd expect from a masterpiece to be all together. Visible thigh syndrome and everything and uh, or legs or whatever. And then this one's the one that's really got people a bit riled up because <laughs> we've got the kitty mode. What do you think, uh, Simon? Uh, yeah, it looks like a cat. Uh, the, thigh <laughs> the, the problem is there are so many movie Bumblebee Primes out now that this one's just left behind. It's too little too late. It'll probably fall to pieces. It probably won't be painted properly. Um, and yeah, that looks. I mean, that's. I mean, that's probably not transformed correctly. I can't. Yes, imagine because it's down. You can yeah, see the hinges. Yeah, because the Studio Sirius Optimus Prime, um, the Chug one, is finished off quite nicely in the back. They went to extra lengths to finish <laughs> off the transformation. Like that. You know, the thing is, who, who, who is your favourite? Side, side, isn't it? Simon, it's who's the your favourite? Side that don't fold. Just think, this thing. I don't, I don't like. It's he's all ears. It's, his eyes look tiny, and it just. I, I, yeah, I, I wouldn't be a fan of that. that no. uh, face so I, I've got, I've got the Toy World. And I think the Toy World looks much better than this. I don't know about you, Simon. Which is your favourite movie verse Bumblebee esque prime in your eyes? What's the heck I'll do with the news? <laughs> It's conversation, mate. News is conversation. No, it's not. Oh. This is the news. Every week we go through this. This <laughs> is um, Bumblebee masterpiece. Optimus Prime. It's not your top okay. ten. Optimus Prime. New, new. Okay, fine. News in the Vice. Then they because of um, all the other third party primes. Hasbro shut down Toy World because they were releasing this. Right. They did the same thing with uh, Haslab and Zeta. I think the Zeta looks better than the Haslab. I think Toy World looks better than this. So if if, if Hasbro shut down the third party by the third party because you know it's good. Mm. That's news. Yeah. There doesn't, that's the part, this, this little bit up on the upper shoulder, that's the part that forms the kitty ears. And you can't see there, I know it's not a perfect shot, but there's no you know, obviously visible oh, no, there's there no... to fold in it. And yeah, I think that no... it does just fold round to the back and they just thought, oh, people won't mind. Yeah, but see, the thing I don't get is, you know how we've been talking about the new chugs coming out, having an advantage of taking the engineering from the masterpiece, why they didn't take the advantage of the engineering from the chug version? Yeah, the, the Studio on... Series version of it is yes. excellent. And you'd have thought they'd have taken a bit of that and then with masterpiece um, engineering be able to, to take yeah. it. But anyway. Should have just made that one better. But yeah, that's... well, you'd have thought so. And it'll be hideously expensive. Yeah, is it going to be MP44 price, you reckon? It can't be, can it? No, it won't be, won't be that high. It won't be that much. Be... Well, I think it's 220 pounds, or something, I thought. It was no, about, about 150, I reckon. I reckon, yeah, towards 200. If MP44 is probably the same size, and it's what was 380 pounds. 350, yeah. So, so the next bit of news was uh, Hasbro Pulse, which has ah. so far been US exclusive. In demand, I sell them for 120. Oh, there you go. What, the new uh, Masterpiece? Hasbro Pulse. Yeah. Oh, there you go. Hasbro Pulse, <laughs> which has been US exclusive, is now is now going to come over here. So they're launching their own UK Hasbro Pulse website. Which, this is not to course, be confused. We're all very excited about. But yeah. And they're getting very nationalist about it, which is <laughs> the Union Jack there. Um, so we are hopefully then going to have a better chance to get some of these figures that have been exclusive, like Thrust, you know, the famous Thrust, who, who has been an absolute nightmare for collectors getting everybody's been paying through the nose, or a lot of people have been paying through the nose at least, to, to get hold of these figures. So hopefully it will make it easier for us. But you know, it looks like that's been Photoshop, doesn't it? You know, next it to Bodge. Yeah. It looks like something has been blurred out there. Like, not. <laughs> you know, like it's just say, long like joke. UK yeah. Hasbro Pulse website. Yeah. April Fools, except it's February. But anyway, we are we are hopeful that we're going to get our own version of Hasbro Pulse, which would obviously be good. Are we the second country in the world then to actually get Hasbro after America? There's not, so it's, it's America get it, uh, and then Canada we has get it, it. I think Canada has it. I think and Canada can does, order from it. Does, yeah. is, do do Takara do the same China. thing? Do Takara do the same thing that Hasbro do? Not as far as I'm aware. Um, they don't have the same they do the same thing over they do here we're launching this over here so we're launching it over there in a different it's just I don't think so. unless, unless any of you guys know any different or there's anybody who's watching who knows any different i don't think that there's necessarily that same kind of 
That's if Takada need, if Takada want to do this, he needs some people to run the business. Well, there's four guys I know who do a YouTube news. Who <laughs> run that into the ground. <laughs> I'll, just get get I'll just get Damon to do it. Damon's over there, he'll do it. <laughs> Damien right. would love to be on show. Cool. Um, this is the announcement of the is it DLX Zero or whatever it's called. Um, Jetfire that's going to be coming. You know, the extremely expensive but very um, detailed kind of... Um, Non-transformer. Well, do they transform? We had this debate the other week, didn't we? Do they actually transform these big DLX things? And we were under the impression they didn't. But anyway, uh, Paddy, Jetfire, do they transform? Do you think? Jetfire I don't think they do. They don't. No. They're just models. Yeah. But it is, is it an, an odd choice as well. Yeah, of all the yeah. a beautiful alt mode and quite hideous uh, robot <laughs> mode. And so you get, what, what mode do I get stuck in forever? The robot mode. Uh, this is the Super 7 Ultimate. Um, they've shown off the Optimus Prime. Uh, it comes with lots of parts that you can change out. And, and it just looks, yeah. And I think the orders were up for 50 or 60 pounds. And yeah. Not I, my I, Optimus I won't be buying it. Yeah. I won't be buying it. <laughs> he comes with a surfboard. He does come with a surfboard <laughs> that doesn't sell it. He comes with a basketball as well, but it still doesn't sell it for me. That front. makes him yeah. cool though. I'm not buying it. I'm that just so funny as hell. I might buy it. Doesn't just transform for the either, Paul. <laughs> I, I, I've pre ordered this. I've pre ordered this, so I feel I'm I'm comfortable in my own, own skin to say this. This looks terrible. <laughs> <laughs> I'm, I'm talking with my money. Well, put my money where my mouth is, as the fella says. I admire your honesty <laughs> there, Paddy. I when I first that. saw when I first saw this a some lot of accessories, I thought this was accessories for the um the, the, the um Hasbro to, uh, right. yeah, no no yeah. no the um, the normal the normal prime the uh, Earthrise Prime I thought this was a third party add-on kit for Earthrise Prime I thought oh this is really good good mm. idea right I, did, I thought that'd be really cool right because you'd have all that stuff right for Earthrise Prime but for you know weird dancing prime I'm not sure uh, this this was announced last weekend which is the Super Seven Ultimate schedule so they've got obviously more figures that they're planning to release um, the ones the that stood out some people was um, Bludgeon yeah in wave two and tarn in wave three so some people did get a little bit excited about that alligator con i'm presuming the, the alicon i'm going to get the pretender one i will be oh the pretender ones look well yeah. i haven't seen them yet but the, the, the idea of it is actually quite interesting yeah and i said to you uh, the other week bon banzai tron is one that i might be interested in as well but i think i'm going to hang on and, and see what the kind of reviews and how it looks um in hand but i'd be interested in them not all of them obviously because that was most brand and great mark dino mode that's interesting they're bringing it in different modes yeah and then uh just last because we just snuck it into the news is the um colored version of the masterpiece skids picture i think the same one that we saw earlier on so hmm. you can see how the colors look that was by uh, Church, oh, no, that's Church, 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 not, Church that's not official, is it? That's no. Digibash. Somebody yeah. who has digibashed it so we can see. It can't be too far away there. from that, can it? Although yeah, for a digibash, I think it looks pretty pretty yeah. realistic. Yeah. I thought there was so, more news. I thought I, I swear you put in more pictures. I swear there was more pictures. Not for Hasbro. Oh. <laughs> you can add some news if you want. <laughs> Make some up. No, no, they don't pay me enough. <laughs> and now we switch over to Third party news. Are you doing your sermon? I'm not sure why I felt the need to say uh, that. Uh, right, this is where I switch off and I'll allow Alexis and those who actually know what all this stuff is to in inform us. If only that actually happened. So this is um <laughs> this is how to identify um chicken pox on transformers. The red dots <laughs> on the left hand side is for the infected patient and the we'll right some chamomile on that. <laughs> no. I, I want an orphan set the vaccine. Another company doing seekers, yay! So Zeta we don't is have doing seekers. seekers, and um, Zeta do a good job at planes. Obviously, done the aerobots. Um, Starscream wearing his crown there. Um, they, they wanted to highlight the diecast. Obviously, uh, Takara have their seekers come out later in the year. Um, Make toys have a release of their seekers as well. Um, I, I don't know if because I find I found the aerial bots on on Zeta okay. I find their stuff is okay. It just doesn't quite tab in correctly all the time. Um, Make toys were a bit loose, <laughs> yeah. so it's quite this quite. 
and Takara do you know I imagine we'll do a good job this time but the last time again just it flopped about a little bit so there isn't a good company that's done seekers yet today apart from the um the original you know these guys here they're, they're pretty all right but they're just not the right scale um so what's going on these are masterpiece scale. I imagine masterpiece. if they're around the 130 pound mark, they'd be all right. Um, it'd be interesting to see the price point. This is the first, you know, release of them as well. Um, what I think would be really cool, right, is if someone actually did these, but then did the cone heads first, and then did the, the you know, did the other bits. But again, they do the pop. You know, what they always do like Star Screen first, right? Yeah, everyone, you, you, you know. do your bankable characters first, and then you, you if you're, if it's popular enough, you go into the others. Although and Will your Hasbro. Will Hasbro smack Zeta down again like they did with Unicron? Well, this is it, right? You know, you know, if they do that, though, buy them because that means these are good. <laughs> 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 That's the rule. Do you say the same thing about extra Transbox Lock? Uh, no, because uh, Hasbro didn't do it. <laughs> too soon, lads. Too soon. <laughs> too, way too soon. Mine, 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 I haven't still done. I've still done mine yet. He's tabbed in correctly still. You can explain what this is then, Alexis, because. Um, Obviously, I haven't got a clue. Um, I don't know who makes them, but I just thought they were really cool. They're on top. I thought they were really cool. So, like miniature, like little transformer figures. I just thought they were really cool. Like three D printed, obviously. Um, from uh, is, is this toy box? Toy box. Uh, That's no, him. I, toy I, box. I is that, legit, is, is that alternative name box, for him? Yeah. But I just thought they, they were really cool. And obviously, someone's printed out the whole. That's the whole of season one there. Um, hey. Cool. I wondered if they were supposed to interact with something in particular. There were like pictures the, as well. The were or... pictures. I, don't, I don't know if I shared the pictures in colour, but they do actually have them. They do. Yeah, no, you, like, you only like... shared these pictures. That I think there's four. Uh, but when, pictures you know, there. when you when you've got Transformers about a, a cock and a half, it's like wow, you know. <laughs> so I didn't yeah, know two was that small. Uh, it's, it's scales yeah, in the other. I suppose you were supposed really. to be kind of mini bots. Maybe they've taken the jazz, the jazz had a bit more detail than the others. Like, um, they had a few zoom, zoom ins, close ups. Mm, uh, no door wings. Uh, but they, the static, the static they are. So again, they're, they're pretty cool. So they don't transform. Be careful with the windshield, or windscreen, I should say. <laughs> ah, so they're moving yeah. on, moving to so G, G Creations Fuma. I've got the original, still boxed up here. He, I think, is still the best version of um, Six Shot. Um, this is their dark version. They are also releasing the metallic version. You will flick through the photographs. He has die casts. He, even his shurikens are die casts. He, <laughs> he can pose like holding things. He's so cool. He's, you can stand him on one leg. I've actually got, I've done it myself, pictures of him on one leg. He's amazing as a bot. Um, and each of his modes are very strong. Uh, interestingly, as well, he actually comes with a seventh mode, which will come at the end as well. But uh, if you flick, flick for the modes, they're all fairly solid. Um, he was about 140 quid when it came out, G Creations. And if you compare him to the Fans Toys one as well, the Hydra they did, he's he's taller as well. He's a good inch taller than Hydra, and he's he's meant to be the IDW version of um, of uh, Six Shot. Um, that's the seventh mode, secret seventh mode there. That's but from the extra... um, car Headmaster's cartoon, isn't it? Because he, yes. they, they created a secret overpowered seventh mode that he had, which just looks a bit daft to me. But anyway. <laughs> but I like the colours on that. I think the colours on that version are uh, quite cool. He's and a really solid course... bot, metallic version as well. So if, if these guys come back, amazing. They've done. So I've got their, I've got their prime. Um, um, I've got the the G, this as well. I don't. I think they did something else as well. I can't remember what it was. Uh, and, and this then is for the man the... who likes a big ring. Is that right, Alexis? Well, yes. You know, Unicron has. You know, if you want a second ring piece for Unicron, here you are. You know, second <laughs> ring, extra large, extra large. If anyone wants an extra large onion ring, this is it. You know, Zeta Unicron obviously isn't big enough, so he's trying to pump up a little bit in the gym next to Haslab. So he like started the with the face. rings. He's going to work on the guns next time, but he's doing the ring this time. So this is what Alexa, you get. Yes, if, 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 if you are um, him, he will death. He's a very he does look spiky. <laughs> well, you've had experience of that, haven't you? Yeah, Simon has as well. Of Zeta we both, we've both gone to war with <laughs> Studio <laughs> Sony. <laughs> yeah. If you need a if you if you need a second ring piece for Unicron, my question to Alexis is: What's he done with the first one? <laughs> <laughs> 
<laughs> Ru- ruined it. Anyway, it was yeah, too small. Who the hoop? Who the hoop or cock ring? Yeah, which depends on the, on your waist size, right? But right. just want to say, each of those items, so G Creations, Fuma, Dark Metallic, and the Ring Piece, are all available via pre-order from your wonderful Transformers distributors. That was the news. Right. So now on to uh, Rohan. Rohan, take it away for us, Rohan. 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 That was, yeah, that I was cool. Oh, hello there, Transformers fans. It seems to have been a bit of a bumper week this week, what with so much news about new TV shows and the likes, the new animated show on Nickelodeon and now this bot bots thing. And then people are actually starting to get their Unicron figures and that's a big buzz too. And we're starting to learn more and more about what's coming up in Kingdom and Studio Series 86, fingers crossed. However, one piece of news that came out this week, which I found very interesting and I'm sure many of you did too, was about the Hasbro Pulse announcement stating that it's going worldwide. So for those of you who haven't heard or don't know, Hasbro Pulse is the website in the States which is run by Hasbro where fans can actually uh, sort of subscribe and buy figures directly from the manufacturer Hasbro themselves. And this works well for you know those people in the States and there's a few people in the UK who've also got these accounts who can get products from Hasbro Pulse and get them shipped out to the UK, which is great, but then obviously you have to pay import charges and extra bits and pieces here and there. And you know, it's it's sort of works, but it's not quite right. And as a result of all of this, we've noticed that we've had a lot of exclusives recently. I'm not going to go into detail. We've talked about it many, many times. And some of those have been available on Hasbro Pulse, like the Pit of Judgment, for example, was a great example. You know, everybody really wanted one. It wasn't too ludicrously priced, but because it was a Hasbro Pulse exclusive in the US, it was very, very difficult for anyone in the UK to get until all of a sudden a bunch of independent retailers started to get them very small uh, quantities uh, managed to get mine from Shandrews and then randomly Amazon managed to source some and you'll know you know coming back to my video last week on pre or uh, a couple of weeks ago now on pre-orders that we're not always sure how the distribution of stock works, especially with things like exclusives, where it's gone through a particular channel at first and then it turns up at some other retailer later. And sometimes it's off grey import and sometimes it's off actual direct from Hasbro themselves. But I guess the thing is, if Hasbro are actually going to pulse it up across Europe, across Asia, does that mean we're actually going to get any benefit from anything? Or does it just mean more of the same? They'll be selling the actual mainline stock on their own website so you can buy it from them at RRP or you can save a quid by buying it from your normal retailer or actually, you know, fluctuating prices where sometimes it'll be more expensive here and less expensive there. Or does it actually mean they're going to treat us equally like the US and provide amounts of quantity that this the states get for exclusives and make them available to the world who knows i don't know all i can say is that i made enough of a stink to hasbro uk's marketing director and other members of their team last year showcasing that they were missing out on huge amounts of revenue by not utilizing this sort of market method and let's face it the year is 2021 we've been through a massive pandemic Things have changed in terms of the way in which people are buying these days. And we have to have an availability of product that is available online to all of us in a fair manner. So the other cool thing about having something like Pulse is that has broken control scalping and well, hopefully you would think and prevent that from happening. So 
it all looks promising. What do you think? Do you think we're actually going to get something useful out of Hasbro Pulse UK? Or is it going to go back to what Hasbro tried to do with the UK shop many, many eons ago? I think it was around 2004, 2005. Hasbro actually started their toy shop online. It died out within a couple of years. Even while I was working for Hasbro, it wasn't very popular and it only carried the mainline stuff anyway. With my positive hat on, I'm really hoping that we're going to see things like, you know, uh, Titan class product and exclusive product, maybe even commander class product available from uh, Hasbro Pulse UK so that we can actually order stuff and get it shipped direct to ourselves and have to cut out the middleman, maybe save a few quid or, you know, specifically exclusives. That's the big, big issue, isn't it? We've all suffered in the last couple of years because of exclusives. Anywho, that's my thoughts. What are your thoughts? Send them through and until next week, I've been Rohan. Thanks for joining on Rohan's Corner. Back to the studio. Bye. Hey boys, we've been rumbled. Well, let's bounce. <laughs> Thanks, Rohan. That was awesome. Right, uh, on to pickups. And we're going to start off with our guests. So, Simon, please, sir, take it away. What did you get this week? So, uh, not a great deal this week, but I, I uh, John, or Hodmus Prime, was selling off some of his legends. So mm, I got a nice little slowness. Nice. Hello, cheeky. <laughs> yeah, yeah. The Springer. Jealous. Nice. Which is pretty nice. cool. And yeah, I've got like I've got all these bits and baggies. And what I think is the the best one of the legends is a Rodimus, a little Rodimus. Uh, he's bloody brilliant. Really, really good Rodimus. He comes with like a little uh, he's a Winnebago. And today, which made me really happy, Scourge arrived. Oh. Love you. Well, Joe. <laughs> and he is so good. So good. But he's still in his box. <laughs> oh, no, no he's, he's been out of the box. You see all these little tags, these little seatbelts gone. Oh. <laughs> he's been out of this, but I just put him back in the box. So, you know, because make sure he got that good glare when I was showing him off. <laughs> <laughs> just so we could see the reflection. Yeah. So you can see the reflection of light, yeah. But yeah, he's absolutely awesome. What do you think of his all mode? It. It's his bar of soap hole, isn't it? Oh, oh, that's it's what I love about him. That's what reminds me from the movie. Like, on. Yeah, but... that's it's it's his alt mode and it works yeah because that's what it is it's much better than the Titan's Return Titan's Return, return that annoyed me because it's a bit of a clunky alt mode wasn't it yeah this one works and it's great cool yeah I really have I was messing around with it for about half an hour before this all started um is he going to be on your channel is he going is, is to be on your channel for review soon or he will be up on Fingers on Plastic very soon. You're just reviewing Probably all the cups in the world at the moment, aren't you? I've seen. <laughs> yeah. Every time I look, it's like Fingers cup. on Plastic. You guys want cup. cup? When you get a girl in the cup, let me know. I'll, I'll be, I'll be, I'll be, you know. <laughs> well, arrested. Do you Come on. Sauce <laughs> to Alex, no. that's, that's okay. sexist, mate. Come on now. All right, all right, all right. <laughs> girl or dolphin? Have I let you have? <laughs> <laughs> That's what he said to the dolphin as well, but we won't go into that now. <laughs> That's, That's also awesome. what I said to the dolphin. That's also what I said to the dolphin. I won't go into that right now. <laughs> <laughs> oh, <laughs> stop, stop. Oh. the fish interferers. Right. Okay. Right. That was awesome. Uh, Simon, was there anything else you had, sir? No, no. That was my pickups this week. Cool. Um, Paddy, do you want to go next? Did you get anything this week, sir? Yeah, my pick up. My only pick up this week uh, for myself was um beast wars kingdom megatron oh. uh which he came in i could go and grab him for you right now now i know x and ferris did a review <laughs> on our channel and uh she loaded the alt mode now i can't say because oh, i've got a second one here actually where's x and ferris tonight i thought she's part of the crew isn't she she should she be is, on yeah. we'll invite her next time we'll invite her next time that's all right she can she can take my place where is she? Oh, yeah, we didn't invite her. <laughs> well, anyone who's just tuned in to the show, Paddy is now doing Ghost Hunters. We are trying to find a spectre say. in his house. All right? Don't <laughs> tune off now. We've just heard it communicate. All right? 
Can you uh, still hear us? <laughs> here, here he is. Now, I love the uh, I love the um, robot more than this guy. Absolutely love him. Um, I haven't transformed him, so I haven't had the pain that X and Verus has. Uh, but I just, I just love, I love this guy. I think his detail is amazing. Can you see that? The right. transformation isn't that bad, actually. It's very much like the the, the original. You see, I've never had a Beast Wars yeah. Megatron before, so this is all new to me. So part of it, I think, is uh, childhood excitement. It's like, I'm, a, I'm, I'm an old man. I'm 43 years old, and uh, I was talking to Ben from Ben's Collectibles the other day, and he's a good bit younger than me, you know? And he was saying that when he was getting into it, Beast Wars was a big thing for him, where I kind of missed that, because by the time Beast Wars turned up, you know, I was supposed to be, you know, cool and, and playing football and chasing girls. Um, that didn't happen, by the way. I never never got to chase the women. There was just... <laughs> oh, 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 I'm so lonely. No, but seriously. Um, but yeah, so I missed out on, on Beast Wars completely, so I'm just reliving childhood, and now I'm getting every Beast Wars toy I can in the world. And the only other one I got was because uh, I missed out first time round on this guy. I got, mm. um, mm. what's he called? Exotron. 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 Um, I, I haven't opened him up yet, but my only disappointment with this guy is uh, he doesn't come in the old kind of box. box. Yeah, he kind of mm. comes in the clamshell thing. Yeah. He could, you know, but... Um, and you are, welcome the back. I'm disappointed that he, uh, yeah, he's, so he's got... Okay. You know, but it's not the same though. Mm. You know what I mean? It, the thing I love about the box is like uh, XTB do some nice boxes, you know, and they're quite yeah, they reminiscent of, you know, when you were a child and you, 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 you pick up the box and suddenly it's, it's 1984 again, you know? Um, but it does look good. And uh, that's me. Does, um, does Beast Wars Megatron come in? Beast mode or in robot mode? No, he comes in. He comes in robot mode, Alexis, and I've not done anything with him. So all I've because I've had a hectic week. So all I've managed to do is take him out and go, "Oh, he's amazing!" And kind of <laughs> there. And then you I was, never watch any of my photos, do you, Alexis? You bastard! Yeah, watch, watch your photos. photos. You never said though. You never said. It was in the photo. Day, <laughs> it was reviewed. He reviewed on the show. I reviewed it. I didn't know what mode he came in. You wouldn't let me talk to I you. I don't like you anymore. <laughs> you never let me talk to you. I don't ask. I don't have to ask questions when you do a talk. It's a photo. Talk, talk to the hand, Alexis. Talk to the hand, man. <laughs> My yeah. massive dinosaur hand. <laughs> oh, I wish I had one of them. And and Ben does get excited still. If you watch his review on the, the I think it's the Transmetal two, Transmetal One Cheetor, like from oh, you Trans watch his reviews. <laughs> oh, you he remember? Gets very oh, he, gets, he gets very excited. Oh, fuck you, <laughs> hey, you watch your reviews, Jamie. Damn you! <laughs> uh, good times. <laughs> right, Andy, sir, what did you get this week? Oh, am I going now? Go on. Right. Oh no, you're getting in. Uh, yeah, Jamie, you're in yeah. What did you get this week, mate? Yes, I don't um, mind. I'll go with him. Just tell, next time, tell me. I, I got um, Top Gun Maverick. <gasps> oh, oh, is that girl. really new? Yeah, and it's um, I've left. No, like, not like new. That's a new. Like, are you one of the first people to get? It? I, I honestly don't know, but um, I presume everyone who's ordered through Capel or in demand. I think it was only Capel actually had it. I probably got it by now. I've actually left it in the box because I like the plane mode the best and I didn't really like the robot mode. Although it's, it seems to have accessories. But, you know, it's one of these things like my power of the time where I, for some reason I'm thinking I'm just keeping it in the box, which I generally don't do with Transformers. You know, so... I've not even opened it yet. Though, isn't it? That like F-14 Tomcat. Well, I think that's the best thing is the colours for work well for the plane. But mm. I don't think the colours transfer well to the actual robot unless it's going to be some good toy hack stickers which give it more life. It does look like Leader 1, a lot of people would say, or the one yeah, looks like a fucking still, go -bot. Yeah, and, but then Leader 1 go -bot, um didn't exactly have the best robot mode looking either, you know, so. And um, the other thing which I got this week, which, um, which I was really excited about, you know, not so excited about Mavic, is... Um, I got myself some vintage Michael Masters. Now these um, vintage Michael Masters um, means I've nearly completed my vintage Michael Master collection. I've still just got one more transport to go, but I basically got some of these guys, all nice mm, and complete. Nice. 
Um, you know, so is that from the girl who popped up on TFUK? Was it somewhere else? No, this is this is from a guy who actually watches our show, and um, because he watches the show and he knew how I quite liked uh, Michael Masters, what he did was he decided to contact. Um, he Jamie, just, you're literally the only one who gets any benefit from this show. I know. Nobody Ever, does this like, for us. Companies <laughs> sort him out with stuff. I swear you have a badge which says Transformers the show. You, just, <laughs> you know, although to be fair, Jamie does buy everything. So people probably think, yeah. right, if I get, get in contact with him, he'll buy some I've of his pickups. <laughs> I can sell him something. <laughs> it's, it's Jamie, Jamie knows how to blackmail better than all of us. That's all it is. He, he's, I've got the photographs of you. <laughs> you know. <laughs> Um, I'm just going to show some pictures here. And yeah. um, but basically, yes, he he did contact and um, he gave me a, a really fair price. In fact, I know he could have got more, you know, because the things have really jumped up in price, especially since last year. So I was really quite fortunate and uh, in my condition and um, um, you know, a very clean as well, stickers as well, everything's about it is good. You know, so basically here we've got is a Michael Master um, tanker truck with pipeline and gusher and Michael Master missile launcher retro and surge. So I'm just looking for a Michael Master tanker truck with pipeline and gusher. There, so you've got pipeline there, and then the back end is gusher, which is <laughs> you know, I guess gotcha. it's, uh, <laughs> I wasn't gonna say anything, Jamie. <laughs> no, <laughs> it was it last week, Rams bottom, Robo bottom. Yeah, no, yeah. it was the other oh, week. Blaster. Oh, blaster. <laughs> blaster, yeah. Blaster. I, I have checked, and I think it's yes, <laughs> yes. We got, the, we got the front, we got the friends, front end oh. Bob, and the back end Smasher. Be, as I said, um. All the figures are in good condition. They're a little bit loose, which, to be honest, is actually probably quite good because if they're too tight, you so that means it can break easily, especially when it comes to the vintage stuff. All the connections are working are nice. It's still very beautiful put together. Mm. Um, I think, you know, this transport is maybe the dullest of them because, you know, this it just doesn't look that great. But the missile launchers are quite nice. and But there's no tabs, really, to, to fit the sort of the robots on you just have to place them there you know the base itself is a bit dull and not as exciting you know but um it's it's not bad and it does look really good in um it's transport mode the one it looks really cool though is the missile launcher with, with retro and surge you know surge at the back <laughs> surge in the way but um, retro yeah so yeah this one is really good retro and surge again connect quite easily you know oh, transformers right in the middle not brilliant idea but yeah that that's just an awesome one just an awesome um you know the way it splits apart very exciting they, vehicles do they tab in or are they are they loose again like the last one? Oh no they can tab in they'll form in like he does there they'll form into a nice complete base which is even better Mm. You know, it looks really cool. The missile launchers, you know, are massive. You know, if you're a kid, you want that. You know, I, I was a kid. I was well, obviously I was a kid. But I remember <laughs> seeing the actual. Um, I've got still got the instruction, uh, the pamphlet which comes with MicroMasters. That's so many of them, and I remember seeing that, and that reminds me so much of my childhood. And the missiles, I think, mean, God, I want that one so much. Yeah, I never this, got him. This is the. I, I'm just like you, Paul, because I've never owned this one. I had the dull one, the tanker. Yeah, one, I you did. Know. You know, but this is the one you're going, this is it. This is that's this the is money shot, it. isn't it? Yeah, you know, and, and it even just looks awesome in his transport mode, mm. you know, and it's, um, yeah, just absolutely exceptionally a fantastic transformer. And um, stop sharing, and that was basically awesome. it. So Jay, have you, so the thing about, which we talk about with Mark Cross is obviously a little bit like Hot Wheels and used to get all the bases together. And have you now put everything together in one big, Amalgamation um, base yet? Have you done that? Or no, are you going to I, do I, that? I'm, I'm not even sure about I will eventually do that until um, the whole COVID thing's gone away and I have much more room and stuff like that. But I have got all the bases and everything there. It does connect. As I said, with the tanker one, the ramps really don't make much sense. They don't even make much sense in the missile launcher base one because it just looks cool in whatever mode you have it on. Um, the, the one thing I, I would say about the missile... Um, the tanker one is, you know, when it comes to having its gun handle in this position, I just use some blue tack to help keep it in position. 
not because it's broken, because it's still immaculate. It's just because obviously over time, when you have to take the gun out, what you would do is you'd fit the gun to there. So it would fit into that. And what's happened is, it's, um, you know, the plastic has um, stretched to, you know, hold that position. So when you take it out to try to move it in the other position and try to move the plastic in, you probably end up breaking it. So there's, I'm not going to bother trying to risk that. So I just used a bit of what you talked. I mean, I did speak to Gav Burgress about stuff we could do. You know, and he was talking about soldering irons and all sorts of Sorry, stuff. And Gav I just went... Bugress. Yeah. And I just went, um, I'll use boy tack. And that'll be it. When in doubt. Yeah. When in doubt, just it, use boy tack. It'd be really interesting to understand, because I don't know if Hasbro anticipated their toys to be alive after 30 years. Obviously, you know, Hasbro, Pulse, we know you're watching, we know you're coming to the UK. You know, we know you want to be on a show. If we can get you to understand, on our show and understand... How long are these toys going to last? Two years? Three years? Five years? I don't know. Yeah. It'll be interesting to see the forums as people who go and men start to cry as a T-Rex Megatron is just disintegrate after about five years. You know? <laughs> It'll be interesting. Cool. Yeah, that's that's be Amazing. If you, know, if, if you know a guy like Paddy <laughs> and you want to donate money, please a guy send, like your, send, <laughs> your <transform> send your <laughs> Transformers to Jamie because he gets all the money anyway. <laughs> Jay, do you know what I wanted to say to you, bud? Um, is that your photographs are exceptional? Oh, thank you. That's not really... the first time, but uh, mm. yeah, it just needs. I might, so in case I don't get in the show again, uh, your photographs are fantastic, man. <laughs> oh, you would be welcome, Shane. For legal reasons. Definitely, no. <laughs> <laughs> See you next week. <laughs> <laughs> Bye, Alexis. It was nice knowing you. Here. <laughs> you had a good run. You had a good run, Alexis. <laughs> Yeah. He's got a bigger beard than me as well. I'm trying. I'm trying to. I was trying to. <laughs> oh, I, I, I was saying to the lads before uh, before uh, we aired. You know, the only reason I've got a beard is so people at work would uh, stop talking to me like I was a child. So. <laughs> right, who's next? Simple. Me. Right. Ooh. So <laughs> next, so I've got two things this week. Uh, first of all, thank you very much, Zolt Rider, for sending me the deets on this bad boy. So I think you guys will um, a fair bit, but you found a really cheapish place to find Han Solo uh, all wrapped up like that. So cheers, mate. And then, is that his ult mode? What's he, what's he transform into? Uh, your face. And then we also <laughs> managed to get uh, Magic Square, actual Transformer this week, uh, uh, Hoist. Uh, so Hoist. 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 Uh, so I found him out of the box. He's all right. He's good. He's MSB10. And I've just worked out. I think I have all the MS. Magic Squares 1 to Magic Square 10 now, so that makes me, my OCD, all happy that I have them all in a row. So I'll be doing that later. They are there. When I follow my finger. Ooh, Magic Square section. The hoist. Ah, mag I magic Square, Magic Finger. <laughs> That's Simon speak, Alexis. Sorry. That's the, 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 ho the hoist is one I'm after. I, I like because their trail break is really good. Mm. good. And so a hoist is one I've been after. Well, I've, someone... got their, I've got their Bumblebee on the way as well. Oh, I haven't got him. I, oh, I like I him. Got, I got Bumblebee last last week, so I got use him as a pickup. But um, it, it's hard, isn't it? He's yeah. tiny. Where'd you get yours from, Sai? Where'd you order your legends figures from? Well, I used to order them from Paddy, but that went down the toilet. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, same. So did so I. <laughs> Uh, this one. Oh, TF. Uh, I ordered this one from TF Direct. Nice, nice. Yeah, I got. I think I've gone from. Terry. I ordered um, oh, Terry. a KO of the Masterpiece movie Ratchet, which is, well, it's exactly like the official one, but painted, and it's amazing. <laughs> for it. And it came through. So I thought, well, because I wanted the APC RC, and the Bumblebee just fell into my basket. Yeah. That happens, yeah. It's funny, it's funny how Simon <laughs> and Bass have fallen. Yeah. Mm. Not the first time, Sai. Not the am first time. I, I want to look into that, Paddy. Ah, <laughs> <laughs> oh, dear. So it's a big burp coming up. Shall Stop. I go next, Paul? Right, cool. Um, yes. We'll let Alexis go last. Andy, what did you get this week, sir? So uh, I got um, oh, a few things, actually. Oh, only one of them was really expected. So thanks to Mr. Paul Farrelly. I have a replacement Trypticon. Now, a couple of years ago, I had 
uh, when we were moving, I had to raise some money for the move because uh, it was very expensive. So I had to sacrifice some of my collection. Trypticon was one of the ones I let go. Um, and I always kind of wish I hadn't had to. But thankfully, Paul's helped me to get hold of a replacement one. So it's nice to have him back. And also my daughter's very happy because she uh, didn't realize that I'd sold it. She was three when he went. And uh, she saw it the other day and went, oh, the dinosaur's back. So she's very happy <laughs> because she likes the big dinosaur. Will you ever get uh, Jetfire back? Do you know, I don't know, because the thing about the Jetfire one is it's such it's one of those bots that's a fantastically engineered bot. But I found it hard to kind of love the, the, the toy. If that, I know that sounds strange. <laughs> no, I'm exactly the same. I've sold my Jetfire it's... and he is one of the best Transformers from the Chuck line I think I've had. And yeah. I just sold oh, him because I, I don't mean, care. He's engineering like, everything. He's he looks. perfect. Exactly. I give I just, no fucks about, about him. It, I just, yeah. I, I, and that's the thing sometimes, especially with me, with not having as much room and everything. I mm. tend to just, like, if, if I really think, oh, you know. And I, then if I need to raise some money for other things, then it's, it's just a case of, you know. Uh, I see pictures of him and he looks amazing. Yeah. I think, and I never once go... Oh, I miss my Jetfire. No, not once. Oh, I know. I I know. He does That's look it. good. Not, not that it's a bad bot, though. Again, it's not. No, he's amazing. But one of the bonuses of Triptychon, of course, is I got myself a little uh, full tilt back again. Unfortunately, oh, the downside okay. is that now, now I've had to tell Claire that I also now need to find a Brunt from somewhere because I never bothered buying one uh, when he was first out. Just I, 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 you you can't have any of my copies. No. <laughs> <laughs> can't have any of my seven copies. Yeah. Yeah. You'll get um, lonely. I'm not doing so that, that to was, them. That was that was lovely. So thank you very much, Paul, for that. And then um, I got a couple of surprises this week. So I'll show off the first one. So this only arrived today, and I wasn't expecting it. But this was um, just something Claire decided to buy me because she decided to buy me some, and she bought me <gasps> King and Cheetor. So <gasps> I can start to delve into the new Beast Wars type figures and also leave it in a lovely glare. So. Um, now, I've seen a lot of people write online. I don't know if anybody else has him and has taken him out of the box, but um, I've seen a lot of people write online that he's the most, uh, un other, uh, the least impressive of the new Beast Wars figures. But I, I've got the literally the original Cheetor that um, was my son actually bought it at uh, TF Nation in 2018. Um, and I quite like that. That figure's grown on me. So I want to see what this one's like, and I'm quite excited about that. And it was what do you nice. class as impressive, Andy? Or what do they not class as impressive? Uh, I just think they don't it's think quite, it was... It's as... quite subjective, so... Yeah, I, I think from reading comments online and, and, and things from review videos, just that I think people were expecting a bit more from the engineer because he's such a fan-favourite character amongst a lot of people. Yeah. I mean, I always think of him, and I, I might be wrong again if you... I'm not a huge Beast Wars fan, but he always came across to me as a bit like the Beast Wars version of a, a you know a Bumblebee or a Hot Rod. It's That's that, what I that, that yeah. child's yeah. friendly character that he's a know, Bumble Rod. Kind of he's a hot bee. Yeah. <laughs> hot, you know, hot he's bee. actually he's probably better Hot Rod than um, yeah. The I felt hot that, Rod yeah. Yeah. he kind of follows. He kind of carries that torch. And the last thing I got was a complete surprise again. And I actually thought that this was actually coming from uh, Liam because uh, it is going straight into my crap transformer corner. But I actually thought this this deserved to have some photos shared of this. So Did the face? newest entry to the crap transformer corner was, anybody recognize it? Oh it's my God. Is it called Goblet? Goblet? Not goblet. quite, I'm afraid. You, you goblet. We, do we goblet. all know what it is? Goblet. Yes, we all know what it is. Yes. I've got this guy. Oh, oh, oh it's a rock lord, oh, green oh, one with oh, the. Oh. Uh, I was thinking my... rock lord. Oh, oh my screen sharing yeah. just kicked me out. <gasps> He's got four little oh, visor, oh, visor, oh, visor. Oh, He's got a single yellow visor, four little teeth, little crazy? arms, little arms. The minute, little arms the minute do that. you said, the minute he, you said it was a goobot, it just went fucking not showing. <laughs> no, I think it was the sounds. I think you know three what? people on the show came at the same time. <laughs> and sorry, and it's broken. Zoom. It broke. I'm gonna try again. I'm gonna try again. Oh, yeah, dear. Your technology is normally so strong. Literally, just said, "Oh no, it's failed." Sorry about that. You can't do that. Right, let's try again. Because do we have to pretend again? Nah, I wouldn't bother. <laughs> I wouldn't bother if it was me. Are you ask us to fake it? I can't fake an <laughs> orgasm again. No, it's it's yeah. great. Oh, just just do what your wife does. Oh, oh, oh! There you go. Anybody got a cigarette? <laughs> oh dear. <laughs> <laughs> so we have the glory of the Rock Lords, uh, represented here by Tombstone. 
which is the name of the character. Uh, now, here you see him in his rock mode. Uh, you can see how incredibly realistic that is. Um, again, I I'd I've got rock laws. So what the fuck is really that? Look. The rock laws. I've got look a rock like that in my garden, actually. It looks a little bit like something that if my dog Keegan had dropped in the garden and uh, just left it for a few weeks. Not all that long ago. I a tube yeah. shoved up my nose where it pushes everything out your sinus. I thought I'd just do a comparison <laughs> photo there because we do like a good comparison photo. So there he is with a rock. Uh, so it's a real really rock. See how, it's how, like magic yeah. kind of both the same. It's well, amazing, isn't like it? That Look one looks that. like Boulder. Look at that. It's just flawless, that. You can't argue with that from Rock Lords. Bring them back. Which one's the Transformer? <laughs> exactly. You can't tell. It's, it's impossible to tell. So that's Tombstone. It's like dark black magic. <laughs> dark black something. And there he is in his robot mode. Oh, dear Lord. <laughs> but what transformed into that? <laughs> and, and as you can see, it's, it's epic. Epic is the only word you can use to describe this incredible... Incredible go on figure. Rock Lord figure. In, 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 in Rock Lord, I swear he was well, like the head, like the number two. He was like the, the, the guy, oh, the orange guy was like no Alexis. neck. He, he was like number, number two, two, wasn't he? I guarantee you he's a number two. <laughs> he he was, was the um, number two in the thing. It was, As you can see, right I mean, just look at Magma, that. Wasn't it? Was There's the no one. kibble. There's no kibble there at all. He's up nicely. Hasbro. Masterpiece. Are you watching Hasbro? So, um, I'm a little bit like, worried about the arm stuff. articulation, but we are. Well, we're getting to that. Don't <laughs> hold your horses, Paddy. Let, let the excitement build. Here it comes. Oh, hey, hey, hey. Jesus Christ! Bro. He's dancing because he's yeah. happy. He yeah. knows how to start a YMCA, happy. does he? Doesn't and he? Of course, Young man, I'm angry with you. Down, I said, <laughs> look at that. I mean, it just does it get better than that? Yes. He can only yeah, defeat so enemies who aren't in his peripheral vision. I was trying to go for the for the platoon kind of look, but I couldn't get his arms to to fold up. Oh, okay. so instead, instead, we've just gone for the wishing for death look. And there does, he is. Does his mouth open at all? No, it looks like it should. That's the interesting mm. thing. Um, this actually was bought for me, not by Liam. Liam now has a rival in the Crap Transformer Stakes, which is Claire. <gasps> Claire decided she oh. wanted to get the action. So this this wonderful example of a yeah. not actually a transformer, but a crap transforming robot. Is uh, would actually cost two pounds twenty from eBay, which is a small oh, selling place really. you might have heard. Of. That's actually the Bay cool. of E. The the actual postage for it costs more than the bot did. So just be clear, the stamp costs more than the. Uh, Do you know what I would love at the end of the year, right? For for your, your Alexis, for, for them to you. add up. I love, well, I love that one. That's, that's the walking walk, walk, walk photo. Walking walk photo. That. That's, that's amazing, that is Andy. And I like how you use your light box as well. And then. Yeah, oh, it won't zoom. I don't know why, but for some reason, somebody's photos. Andy, could I ask a question? You can. This is more well, of a question for. Uh, this is more of a question for Claire. I'm just saying, Claire, you bought Andy a two pound twenty watt cord. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. Me line yeah. bought me Unicron, Claire. Mm -hmm. You know, it, it's it's exactly the same level, obviously, because you know, rock lords are. Who can put a price on Rock Lords apart from? Well, he's <laughs> well, well, I was going to say, I would like to see at the end of the year how you know, add up all the crap transformers you've, you've, you've acquired, how much they cost, and at the end of it, what you could have won. Yeah. Which one is it? Which one's the real one? <laughs> you think hell? You think that's crap, mate? I'm going to send you something way crapper than that. <laughs> <laughs> oh, dear. Oh, well, yeah. Not to get if anybody wants that. to send in a crap transformer, just contact us put a comment down somewhere just put a comment in what it is yeah don't, don't tell us what it is that was the fun is finding out the interesting but, thing as i was about to say was that claire got a little bit miffed because you know, i don't I've know if you've all seen Thew's recent video Thew's unboxing video because he actually got gobots and one of uh, rock lords rather and one of the rock lords was tombstone and oh, really? like, he's stealing our thunder kind of thing it's like because i don't think not in the same crap. ballpark at the moment i actually think that's kind of vintage cool it is. Do you know what? Yeah. Do you know the really sad thing? Good. I'm taking the mickey out of it. I really am. But it's actually, I actually kind of like it. I yeah, had Rock I Lord did. when I was a kid. Um, and even, even I think it was Kobe. <laughs> it went, why did it turn into a rock? <laughs> <laughs> Who knows? They I don't mean, understand, do they, kids these days? <laughs> the fun you can have playing with a rock, you can throw it at your friends or people you don't like. Yeah, I mean, that's about it. Like that's all I could come up with at the time. But um, yes, those were my Incredible pickups for this week. Awesome. Right, Alexis, what did you go on this week? What's going with you? 
Uh, so I got um, Magic Square Architect from the same gentleman you bought Hoist from. Um, I got the alternative one somewhere here under stuff. Cool, yeah. Is that a pickup? Yeah, it's a pickup. Uh, oh, yeah, here we go. So this is, uh, uh, sorry, Papa Toys. So Papa Toys and Magic oh. Square. So I've so just to have interest, you can see the, the size of it. So MP Plus here. MP, MP, uh, sorry, Legends Plus Legends. Um, I've got the um uh uh inferno version of this guy here and i really liked him and i ordered this guy a while back and then uh, got sent the wrong thing so paul you took the other one off hands paul you probably gonna take this as well uh, oh, yes this please one. that would complete again, my again. papa toys collection actually that's it so you can have that and my iron factory ones as well so um and then um that's for free i got oh, i got i got mannequin so unique toys i bought this guy and Ooh. um oh <laughs> So, so I thought, I thought, so I thought, so it was labelled as DX9. <laughs> sure, oh, I'll DX9, right up right? to oh. the camera. I thought a DX9. I thought oh, I want a DX9, and then because um, obviously DX9 do one, and then it was Unique Toys, and I want a DX9 one, and then it came in the post today. I was like, ah, it's actually Unique Toys in the box. Like that. It doesn't scale, so he scales really well with Chug. So he's the same size. He's a little bit taller than Starscream, so he's a sort of right size for Chug. What's he next um, to Megatron? Do you have a Chug Megatron? No, I don't have a Chuck Megatron just yet because um, uh, he's sold out everywhere. The Air Force one. So if it was bonus, no, I haven't got uh, in the box still. I haven't got one out yet. Oh, in the corner, and, and that's that. That's the box. See under the purple thing there. That's the box corner. We'll, behind that's all the all the other, all the other toys. Because if you skilled okay, I'd be interested in something like that. Um, skilled. I really want I've got, oh, I've got a shockwave if that helps. I've got, I've got a shockwave that helps. Shock he's in gun mode. He's, 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 he's in gun mode. I worked <laughs> out. He's in gun mode. I thought this is interesting gun mode. I've got him in gun mode. So does that does that work? No. Yeah. <laughs> Are you yeah. trying to flog your wares on the show again, Alexis? No. Oh, no. just go. No, this guy's going. This guy's going back to the um, person that um, uh, I saw, I bought it from. Unless anyone's interested, they, they're welcome to buy it from me or buy it from him. I can just <laughs> pass it go. on. So. <laughs> Yeah, let me know. And, that one. I've been looking for one of those. <laughs> oh, have you? Oh, there you go. Oh, we'll, 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 ch we'll chat offline then. Because again, oh. I just said, I just said, I just said to Rich, I said, look, Rich, I'll ask around if anyone wants it. I'll just, I'll pass it on for the price I got it for. Otherwise, I'll give it back to you, mate. So, so we'll, we'll cool. chat offline this time. Okay. Anyway, so um, <laughs> there was actually a new MP release this week. Did no one's? I, for, I completely forgot. So, uh, fan toys, uh, new release, uh, and it was. <laughs> Dolphin King, you bunch of motherfuckers. <laughs> <laughs> so I thought I'd do an unboxing, especially for you guys, because some wanker. Oh, look at me. Do you know no, what? Do you, you know, know who sent it to you? No, no, right. Wait, wait, I know wait, who sent it. I, well, we can describe, we can, we can disclose it in a minute, right? So something else came today, the tube. And Sam goes, oh, it's got the same name on it that those fucking, that fucking dolphin did, right? She goes... I was like, there better not be a poster in there. And luckily, I, I opened it, not even checking the name because it was our address. It was the wrong one. It was just like a, a bit for um, a shed. So I put it back in and I said, look, we need to, we need to work out who this is, who this is from because this isn't us. Looks like a poster, wrong poster. I think, thank God for that. So I thought some of the semi just crap then. But anyway, Fans Toys Dolphin King. There are, look at the box art here. You have alternate, you have, you have shark, you have killer whale, orca. You have whale shark. You have alternative mode. This thing's. I'm gonna. You know. I'm gonna go hard pamp on this shit. I'm gonna just rip this open. Ah! Oh, Save the box, dude. In case you want oh, to set it on. Oh, you. Oh, your retail value's gone there. And <laughs> for my magic trick, I'm gonna put this back in the box and seal it. Keep it forever. I see you, my Maxis. So, um. You need the instructions now, don't you? <laughs> I'm looking for the, the camera gun, then. Oh, oh, the gun's there. The, gun, the gun's there. The gun's there. Oh, right. So, this is just pub publicly undressing a dolphin in front of us. So, so he's got a yeah. waist swivel. Ooh. Hey, waist hey, you know, ab, 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 ab crunch. Ab crunch. Fresh ab crunch. Arms can come out. You can split him from the middle. Luxury. He... I didn't realize me and Paddy were doing the OnlyFans version of this show. <laughs> <laughs> he it's does the OnlyFans version. He does 
other things where oh, this listen, really listen, if he does other things, mate, this is not the channel for that. <laughs> this is the uh, worst. This is worse than go what this thing is. I don't know even how this thing goes. Okay, right, okay. So I mean just the plastic's actually quite nice. Transform it. <laughs> no, no, the plastic's that the plastic on this actually is genuinely quite um good in comparison. The screws look quite good. Um it's it just the engineering is a little bit like fiddly. Wiggle, wiggle, pop. Well, okay, anyway, right. Magic trick. I'll do this. For the, for the end of the show, I will transform this thing. <laughs> is it Masterpiece standard? Is masterpiece. Mate, mate, this is fucking... This is fucking I said Masterpiece. This is, this, this, is, this is a Masterpiece, mate. This is Masturbate. <laughs> right. Magic trick. Right, I've got to go from here. I've got to get these two together. Right, I need... I need... I need, I need to have... Believe. Do you guys believe? I believe you, Alexis. I need. I, I, everyone, I need belief from everybody. If I'm going to get this thing to go right, I need this to. Yeah, if I'm going to get this in back in here, when you do it, try form. and turn your game down as well. <laughs> <laughs> I have this image of him like going, ready, set it, throwing it to, like to be hilarious and throwing it straight into his collection and just just wiping out some multi-hundred pound pots. <laughs> All right, we're going around. Simon, do you believe? Why not? <laughs> Enthusiasm, <laughs> Jamie. Do you believe? No. I need Jamie. I need a yes. I need a hell yeah, no. Jamie. I need no. Fred Dirks. I need a hell yeah. Fred Dirks. I don't believe. Paul, would you believe? Ah, uh, yes. I'm rolling, rolling, rolling. How do you believe? Listen, Alexis. I'm I'm Irish. Okay, my entire culture was based on ridiculous beliefs. <laughs> I'm with you. Amazing. I'm with you. Right. My Andy, do you believe? Well. I believe this is taking an age. Yes, I believe. Let's All right. go for it. We're gonna, we're gonna go, right? We're gonna go. We're gonna, we're gonna, we're gonna put this together, right? Go, right? One, two, three. Oh, no! Back in the package. Wow. wow. That's magical. There we go. Seamless. And I will now, I will now return him. It's almost to where like you had the two. Who, who bought, who the fuck bought this, right? And who bought fucking bought two? I got one. <laughs> I got right, one. right, right. One person is in. Out of, the, out of the six people here, <laughs> one of them did send you it. Uh, well, clearly you did. No, Who? actually, it wasn't for me for once. So, no. Wouldn't it be Jamie? Oh, oh, do you know what? Paul seems really hurt by that. That accusation. <laughs> <laughs> well, Paul's would, not would actually the person quite accurate. Who Paul's sent not quite you accurate. a dolphin? Put their hand up now. <laughs> <laughs> for fuck's sake. <laughs> Who was it? Stop making the dolphin noise, Andy. <laughs> Who's making the dolphin noise? <laughs> All right. I'll confess. It wasn't, strictly speaking, me. Um, <laughs> it was Claire. <laughs> but she, she said, no, I'll just tell him you did it. So she uh, so found it and, 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 and ordered it for you. And I said, oh, yeah, can you not cancel it? And she went, it's already been, been dispatched. <laughs> oh, and then, and then I will admit, I did message Paul. I said, look, order this for for, 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 Paul, uh, for uh, Alexis at which point Paul told me somebody had already ordered one for you so Richard Zorrider texts me saying look at this what I found on some dodgy Chinese website <laughs> I'm like, that's well funny you can send it to Alexis yes so he sent it <laughs> Andy then Clary texted me said do you have Alexis address and I thought well yeah that's know, why she texted general she GDPR I shouldn't give away is, people's addresses <laughs> but if it's with dolphins mm. That's it for pickups. Uh, over to you, Arrowfire. Take it away, sir. Thanks, guys. Hello, everyone. It's Arrowfire. Now, I'd like to use this segment to do a video response to a video that BumbleJumper82 did recently talking about therapy bots, if I could be afforded the time. Now, in Bubble Jumper's video, he talked about having a bot, having a transformer at a particularly stressful or tense part of life that do you just kind of fiddle around with? Does it make you feel better? Does it take your mind away from the other stresses of life that goes on? Now, it's fair to say in the last year and more, it's been very taxing for a lot of people. And generally, I just think transformers are a good collection, but the other day, for me, I had a very stressful time with work and everything else that was going on, and I just thought, 
I needed to have a bit of a mental break, which a lot of us can't get at the moment if people are confined to their homes. And recently I picked up a knockoff of Masterpiece Tigertron. And I transformed it. It didn't come with the instructions, so Hard Panther for a tiger. And I found it so therapeutic. I was working through it and finding all the intricacies that were folding in and I did resort to a couple of videos online in the end. But at the end of it, I was so pleased with what I accomplished that it really struck me as this is what Bumble Jumper was talking about. This is the therapy bomb. And it is a very stressful time for a lot of people at the moment. And if you've got something to enjoy, like Transformers, that you can take a real sense of satisfaction in that makes you forget about all of the troubles of the outside world. That's just wonderful and you really should jump into that with both feet. Now it's not just to say that Transformers and toys, and it's not to say you need a masterpiece to do that. You do need to have that kind of sense of genre and belonging to something, absolutely, but it doesn't have to be a toy. In our Transformers community, there's a load of great people out there who you can talk to and befriend, and I've certainly found that doing YouTube videos. So that's the other thing. Don't necessarily find a therapy bot, but find therapy in talking to other people who have the same interests as you. And that in itself can make a wonderful difference. We're obviously in a stressful time, and if you can find those little victories, those little wins, if it's as simple as transforming something into a tiger, then go for it. If it gets you through the day, go for it. I do recommend anyone who is struggling, just try something like that. Just, it's amazing how it can take your mind off things for five to ten minutes. Anyway, that's all from me. I'll hand you back to the guys from the show. Thanks, Arif. That was awesome. Uh, on to the most important part of the night, and it's a bit where I'd like you to uh, just get a little bit serious about this. So it is now time for Fans, Toys, Innuendo, and tonight we take a look at the Facebook page, uh, Fans, Toys, Masterpiece. I'm really sorry, Fans, Toys, Masterpiece. And we um, they get a little bit excited. The, uh, the members... The Fans, Toys, Fanboys. You notice your... Um, uh, your your members go up from the 10,000 to 10,001. We've had an influence on that. <laughs> so um, what is today's photo? You have to guess the Transformer this passionate member is talking about. Guess who had sex last night? Who's that? Sasha. Sure. 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 Oh, look, look bit of fun house there. A bit of fun oh, house. Yeah, so what's the clue? Who could that be? Transformer. Well, a fun wise? house by the sounds of it. To be fair, I don't actually understand why this person's posted this <laughs> this transformer. But um uh, Pat Sharp, what's his uh, name? Sharp. Yeah, sharp, isn't it? Very sharp. Oh, right which which, which Decepticon had sharp bits? What sharp one? bits? Sh not shark bitch, you bloody dolphin <laughs> pedo. Sharp, sharp bit. Come on, no. bits. Every <laughs> time. <laughs> Control yourself, man. <laughs> How am I now a dolphin pedo? <laughs> well, no one knows what a dolphin was. That's what I'm saying. A, a dolphins don't live more than 16 years, so um, you can't be a dolphin not pedo. A sharp, a sharp Decepticon. A Decepticon you try to see the legalities of bestiality of a dolphin is somehow oh God, worse are we going because of its age. <laughs> <laughs> well, Alexis, I'm disgusted because that dolphin was quite young. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't say anything. I'm just saying sharp. So sharp, sharp, sharp. There's a young dolphin called a porpoise. Who's that? A seal. Oh, God. <laughs> I'm going to seals. Can we go back to Pat Sharp, please? <laughs> yeah. yeah. Uh, so, uh, think of Transformers the movie. Uh, think of the uh, cow scene. I don't know. Because they had Snarl. Snarl is uh, quite sharp. Snarl is quite sharp. No, the fans thought he did. No, fans thought he'd done that. Fans thought he the Dinobots and his Snarl. It's not Dinobots. It's, it's not Dinobots. Is it the one that got RG banned? Oh. Is it Cyclonus? No, it's not Dinobots. Cyclonus is quite spiky. Yeah, yeah, Cyclonus. It's not spiky. It's not sharp. Is it's more You're right. It's spiky. It's not sharp. Oh, is it like the Sharpty coins, but the, the Executioner? Hmm. No, I haven't done that. Fans would have done that. If you were in the film and you had to get through a door, you would need sharp mandibles to get through that door, wouldn't you? An insecticon or the uh, insecticon? Ooh, yeah. what have you seen? Shrapnel. 
There you go. Ooh. How's that breaking, mate? See, How is that shot? Next to us, mate? What? I, I think that shot was a bit of a stretch, but also I think this is a bit of a stretch. Guess who had sex last night? And then just his head? Makes no sense. Oh, I okay. get got no head. No, because that's but no he head. He's oh, not praying. Because, oh. he's, he's not a praying mantis, though, is he? He's a grasshopper. Yeah, the grasshopper. Oh, do they do the same thing? I, I again, I haven't, se- I haven't had sex with a grasshopper, so I wouldn't know. What I find more interesting <laughs> is this. <laughs> is, uh, <laughs> I'm not even going down that road. This sounds like a joke about insect sex, and exactly oh, sixty-nine people liked it. <laughs> Join us next week for more fan stories <laughs> in the window. <laughs> right, off we go to the final bit and it's discussion time. So on this week's discussion, we're going to have a chat about masterpiece collecting. So the elites, the kings, the king of kings amongst the Transformer fans. <laughs> Raise your chins. <laughs> Why do we collect the masterpiece? Uh, so I think all Yonder. of us collect a little bit of everything, don't we? I don't think there's anyone who is exclusively masterpiece. Um, I think it's going to be really interesting to find out by uh, from Jamie and, and uh, Andy uh, why they don't collect masterpiece. Um, I don't collect masses of masterpiece; only have a couple. Um, and I know you three uh, all collect masterpiece. So um, uh, let's kick the discussion off with let's set some tone with Andy. Talk about why you do, why don't you collect masterpiece? Um, because when I first got into uh, adult collecting, I'll keep it serious now. Serious time, huh? serious chat. Um, Real talk. When I first got back into adult, uh, uh, being an adult Transformers collector, I got uh, the Masterpiece Prime. I think it was from Toys R Us. I forget which one it was, but you guys might remember. It would have been, would have been around 2006, 2007. MPO1. MPO1. You know, um, I got that. I got um, a Masterpiece Skywarp, I remember, not too long after that, and Masterpiece Grimlock as well. And although they were great, I realised that I enjoyed collecting the Chug figures, as we call them now, more because they reminded me more of the toys I had as a kid, whereas the Masterpiece ones just seems so incredibly out of scale with everything else. So even though they were a great bots, and I wouldn't criticise Masterpiece Transformers because generally speaking, I think they are fantastic bots, they didn't fit in with my collection, like what my collecting taste was. So I didn't hang on to them, I sold them on. And now... At this stage, if somebody said to me, well, would you consider being a masterpiece collector now? I think I think my answer would probably be no, because partly the cost. I mean, the cost of some of the masterpiece uh, figures in recent years has been ridiculous, my personal opinion. But yeah. it has, it just, I mean, you're talking hundreds for these things. Andy, what and, was your, before, before MPO1, though, what was your collection? What did you, before MPO1 came into your periphery? <laughs> G1 and uh, G1 and a G1 and did you, bit of Chug, bit of Transformers Cybertron and, because that was around at the time, and I, I thought some of the Transformers Cybertron figures reminded me a bit of, of G1 style figures. They're a big chunky box. So I like I like the reimagining of some of the characters like Starscream. I like the new characters like Vector Prime. We've talked about before on the show. Um, the Masterpiece bots were bought more because I saw them. I went look at that. Uh, Optimus Prime, that's fucking brilliant. I'll buy that. You know, it wasn't so much, oh, I'll collect Masterpiece. I probably didn't even really know at that point that this was, you know, Masterpiece was going to be what it, it eventually has become. But now, I think, again, because of the collection I have, uh, and also because of my own taste, because I'm I'm a fan more of the late 80s kind of waves of Transformers from, from kind of 87 onwards. And you don't generally tend to get those, obviously, in Masterpiece. Um so I'm more than happy with the Chug. I also think that the current Chug line is, you know, if you look at um, the Siege bots that we've had, Earthrise, uh, Kingdom, that, that we, we've said it so many times on the show, it's said by other people many times, you're getting masterpiece standard bots for in that kind of Chug line. Not all the time, of course, but a lot of them. So for me, it just, you know, I, I just don't feel the need to collect them. Maybe if, you know, if somebody did a masterpiece double dealer, because mm-hmm. I love the character, I'd probably be all over that. You know, somebody does masterpiece, masterpiece squeeze play, all over it. But if somebody says to me, "Oh look, it's another masterpiece, Optimus Prime," then I'm just going, "Yeah." What about because um, so, I think that's a good segue into why I collect some masterpieces mm-hmm. because you have certain robots, don't you, that you don't really get in a good representation, or you don't feel 
there's a great representation anywhere else. And for me, it was Power Master Prime. Fans, hobbies, Power Master Prime is just mm. me the sublime. And I have the Titans Return, who I think is an amazing Power Master Prime. But there's no point in having both of them. Do you ever see you ones think, like that? You think which pull you across? So do you think? Do you consider? Do you all consider like that fans hobby, um, uh, Power Master Prime? Um, do you all consider that masterpiece just because of the size of it, or do, is it masterpiece because of the engineering on it, or? It's, it's masterpiece scale, so you have masterpiece scale, don't you? And I yeah. think you were right to say, like, some MMSC stuff is, like, chug scale, but masterpiece quality, there's almost two things. And there's, like, new age stuff is, like, legend scale, but it's kind of masterpiece quality in the way it transforms. It's a lot well, smaller. we did the poll, didn't we, it's, this week? It's in worth the, in saying. The show, we did the poll where we actually said, you know, you've got you've got um, masterpiece. We put masterpiece and third party together, and, and I just made the point in our little discussion, well, not all third party is masterpiece size is it so maybe we should have had them as separate things you know what do you collect because we do collect different things i i collect a bit of third party um a lot of chug and i add bits of g1 to my collection when i can if it's something that i, I missed out on as a kid and i think oh i'd love to have that um but yeah that's what i'm saying I mean, what, 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 what 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 chug chug stands for something doesn't it chug stands for isn't it a scale? Chug stands for something else, isn't it? Yeah, well, which isn't it? Scale is it? It's classic, Tenkai, United, um, Universe, 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 sorry, Generations, and Generations. Yeah, yeah. I always think of the United. So the, uh, it, it, it masterpiece was is generally a <clears throat> a certain quality, and uh, you get you get the, the the sculpt, the paint, the articulation, the transformation, the and 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 yes, the size and scale, right. So MPO MPO one hundred one right was when it came out right was a thing and it it didn't scale up anything right and um, even 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 Takara Hasbro knew that right and they they released other figures which are smaller and they went actually no you know people are liking these things maybe we should have a a whole line of these things and they started to do that and I, my I, I, my question I guess with with um, chug collectors or of Andy Andy and Jamie um, did you was did you display your transformers before um a couple of years ago before they started to get into the quality they are now where you i mean i did i had so before about five years before, before i had a masterpiece i had all my g1 in my cabinet my, 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 my good wife bought me three cabinets i had them all in there my g1s and then she got me the pam the um, mp10 my first my first um one which was from tf nation sorry auto assembly 2016 2015 and um, from there, I was I was like, oh, what else can I get? And I, I suddenly, and I think from when I got called Plastic Syndrome with my um, Skyhammer, the uh, Autobot uh, Mega Pretender, his feet broke. I put them all away because it all just scared me. I thought, right, I've got these empty cabinets. I'll now fill with MPs. And at the time, I got super excited. Every MP I got, I was like, mega excited. Right now... I have quite a lot it's like it takes a lot to get me excited i haven't had the transformer that excited me in about two years or that told me <laughs> on the sincere note paul nothing nothing is nothing is seriously two years me. nothing's hit you in the spot nothing. transformers wise cool nothing. it's like um yeah, do you think like, yeah. that's so much good simon i'd love to know what you think so you've got a lot of mp cool. stuff have you so it MP01 that got me back because I, I broke up with Transformers years ago and it was seeing the, the anniversary MP01 in Toys R Us and I was looking for a present for somebody and I saw the MP01 and I was like, that's amazing. <laughs> and that's that's prime. I still think MP10 is one of the best transforming figures ever made. Um... I love my masterpiece figures, but recently, starting with MP44, I think the quality went downhill. I think they flushed QC down the toilet, and I think the price is getting on offensive. So I, 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 I definitely lean more towards third party now because I'm not buying MP44. I bought the knockoff Bumblebee just because when you look at it straight on, it looks really cool. Which and one, sorry? The the bug the little bug bumblebee, the cartoon bumblebee. Oh, one with knockoff MP forty five. 
Oh, sorry, knock off, not K K K V two Bumblebee. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, so the, the Takara Tomi knockoff, because there was no way I was paying eighty quid for that. <laughs> mm. Not a chance. Um, I didn't buy Hound because every time I saw a picture of Hound after it was released, it was broken. <laughs> yes. So I mean, yeah. every picture I saw of Hound was broken. I remember I went to see Paddy's Optimus Prime, his MP44, and I remember I picked it up, and then all of a sudden I could feel my heartbeat in my a hole because I'm like. Well, what if its legs fall off? <laughs> or it blows it, up. I mean, it blows, it blows up. up. <laughs> or it just does something. That, so I was, I was terrified. And I sort of give it to Penny like it was a newborn baby. I was like, it's really nice. But I I like the masterpieces when they were awesome and they had the detail. Like MP10 is an amazing looking truck. And then you get the MP Prowl next to him. I just thought that was like the golden era of masterpiece figures. And when they start to try and get cartoon, fine, but I liked the detail, you know, Ironhide and his naked legs. In Inferno, Inferno was an amazing figure. Absolutely amazing. The way the ladder folded into his chest. I thought that was fantastic. And Sunstreaker, I really liked the Sunstreaker. But then it just started tumbling downhill quite badly. And so, yeah, How's it? How do you feel about MP and only have a few bits and bobs and M MC? Um, I'm basically just like Andy. I like um, the representation, you know, which we've got, which is good. I've came in at the right era, it seems. And, you know, and it, I, I like the accuracy, but also like the fact that because the chug, they've got more freedom to, um, you know, be more creative, add more detail, so it's not too cartoon accuracy. They, they can add different things. They can they pay more of a homage to the characters without having to be exact. You know, and I think a lot of chug collectors are just happy to have the figures because we've had so many bad representations in the past. So anything we get is like a gift from Valhalla. You know, it's amazing. You know, and um, it's like many masterpieces for us. You know, this is the best that we've ever got. And I think when I, and I look at um, MMC, from my perspective, you know, they almost like chug, chugging the design, chugging the simplicity, the way they transform. It's not like too clever. It's nice and put together. You know, you almost think you've, you've got a chug in your hand as well. And not only scale wise, where I think when I've seen a masterpiece, you know, it seems much more complicated, much more intrinsic, um, much more expensive. Um, higher, sometimes it might seem like a higher quality finish, but it doesn't feel like that because it's so cartoon accurate and it's so it looks so plain. But you're terrified of breaking it, mm -hmm. you know, where you could literally get a Megatron and as Mei Lin is tested, she could throw it across the room because she actually <laughs> meant to throw it to me and I was meant to catch it. Miss break your finger. Yeah, I nearly took my hand off and smashed it as well. And Megatron is still standing <laughs> you, know, you know, so... At one point, I remember you saying that, um, and I think it was Cliff Jumper, and you said, look, I think you almost coined the, the term mini masterpiece. I remember you saying it. It was Cliff Jumper, which came out as Earthrise. And I ended up buying him and comparing him to Bumblebee, the masterpiece Bumblebee, which I had, the uh, version one. And it was a much more fun toy and much more, just as good a representation as the Masterpiece. Do you think we're years away from Masterpiece and the main line being the same? Or do you think like it's not, it's getting to the bit now, it's getting a bit fuzzy? I think it's I... definitely getting fuzzy. And I think with Studio CD, it's, it's, it's definitely getting fuzzy. I think there's so much more they could do with Grimlock. And I think with Megatron Beast Wars, there's a lot of improvement that people are already thinking of and what they could do. But at this stage now, we'll be asking for... I made a joke, I think at some point we're going to start to complaining because there's going to be no mass shifting in the figures, you know, because the, what we're paying for and what we're getting is good. But it's like um, Simon said, you know, it's the quality control issues they need to sort, you know, the paying to make sure the figures are fine, not have a grapple situation, but have an inferno situation but we could already see how they've moved from grapple to inferno they've taken on board what went wrong and they're fixing that and uh, and i think the next step is something we talked about in another episode when we talked about you know printing out our own stuff and the own gimmicks or shops being able to print out parts and that'll be an amazing part in the future i was gonna say exactly the same thing jay it's when you said about the future of the the, the franchise it's about the the quality it's about getting getting things right 
giving the fans what they want. And I remember when you um you displayed that um cliffy jumper because I bought two of these, one for me, one for my boys as well, because I thought this thing was absolutely yeah. immense. I remember remember the fact that the quality of this is um as you said the the, the masterpiece version it, it feels it you, you almost like on ten hooks sometimes with certain figures to touch them because you know they're going to break and like I I do transform my figures I want to transform it because if I don't transform it what am I just someone who collects action figures which isn't a bad thing but I just yeah I'm a transformers collector so I want to transform my figures half so, I mean, I mean the thing half is, panther if I can there's four of you here you know apart from me and Andy you four all collect whatever you like from all the lines it seems you're much more diverse when it comes to what you collect you know you've got a better range and you, it's more you're into something you like and you get it with me and andy more into chug and sometimes we'll get the chug and not even sure if you like it or not did um yeah, Jay, Paddy, sorry, did, sorry, Paddy, did wait, you wait. start with chug at all or did you go straight into masterpiece andy's gone Paddy, sorry. <laughs> um, I started in Masterpiece, and for quite a while, Masterpiece was the only thing I collected. <laughs> and it wasn't really until I started my friendship with Simon that <laughs> oh. I... Yeah, well, you, it's your fault that I saw <laughs> the incredible toys that were available in, in different lines. And... Like, <sighs> Like you were talking about, you know what, you know what is a masterpiece, and and for me, a masterpiece is about quality. You know, is is it when you you put it on the shelf and think, oh my god, that just looks incredible. So that, Lexus that, is that for me? What is is what a masterpiece is, and and I agree with what people have been saying in the last say twelve months, maybe even two years. Masterpiece has become much more mainstream. They're releasing figures, and they're releasing five times what they were. For, for demand and the QC isn't up to it. So you you have a masterpiece toy like Hound, for example, you know, and, and you think, you know, if you sit down and actually transform Hound, you know, and you're slow and methodical, that's fine. But it shouldn't be that way. There are so many of those toys that have come out of the box, you know, broken and smashed up and, and, and not working or bits missing. And you just think, you can't expect people to be spending that kind of money on a masterpiece figure that isn't bang on accurate, you know? And, and that's coming from, you know, a professional point of view. How can I sell a toy to somebody that isn't bang on? Mm. You know, you don't expect to spend that kind of money and take a toy out of the box and have anything wrong with it. And that's the only thing that I would criticize Hasbro for is that they, they're not, they're not looking after fans in a sense that if you have that figure and you're paying that kind of money, it's got to be it's got to be bang on accurate. You know, if you look at some of the other size toys like Legends, for example, uh, we, you know all the Legends stuff that have come out the last couple of months are, you know, they're a mini masterpiece and there's far far less QC issues with them. You know. Uh, well, just, just to add to that as well, I, I remember my first Masterpiece Megatron. My wife got it for me for our, um, my birthday. Um, it was to match my my prime that she got me a few years before that. It was my thirtieth at the time, and I got out of the box, and on the head, on the face, there was a mark straight down the line. I was going, I was like, "You're joking? He's not Scarface." Yeah. And I, found, I, I, found, I found up where I bought it from. I'm not going to name names. I felt uh, I was quite I, I was quite distressed. I was like, yeah, I bought this, and they go, and they said, look, it's pre-order. We and again, I, I this was where I first dipped my toe into the water, masterpiece, and I didn't realise there was a finite amount of these figures. And they said, we have none. I said, what do you mean you have yeah. none? I'm thinking like elsewhere. I was like, you know, thinking like I'm doing with like curries or PC wall or something. I go, you must have like place you can go to get one of these. And they went, no, we don't have any of these. Like, they are, they, this is it, right? And I was just like, I was almost in tears on the phone. Mm -hmm. The person in the phone actually took the figure back from me and then took the head and swapped it with their own head and gave it back to me. And I, I'll happily shout them out. I'll message them. And if they let me do it, I'll shout them out. But I, you know, I wasn't aware of that. And as you said, if someone's Honestly. buying something for someone at £200 a figure, and that's what the price was, 
I, you I've expect, just done that. You, you expect it, yeah, don't you? It's got to be. I've just done that where a fellow messaged me saying uh, there was part of a gun broken from a toy. I think it was a Zeta toy. And I had just bought it with Brutalcon. And I was like, well, I'm going to have him in combined mode. So just take my gun. You know, doesn't matter. You know, but that's fine. But the ball ache I would have to try and get that replaced for him is huge you know and uh, and it's not just you know Hasbro it's it's third party all over and I, I wonder is that because you know the the amount of stuff that they're releasing now which is good because they're releasing more stuff and it means that the fan base is increasing and without both of those you know it, it's harder for us to get toys that's a positive but at the same time if you want a masterpiece toy you have got to be in a position where you are giving someone you know what they're paying for and what they're expecting, especially in a fan base that is so particular. You know, it's not like a pair of jeans. Do you know what I mean? I'll buy a pair of jeans and if there's a, a scratch on them, I won't care because I'm an old man and it's just a pair of jeans and it don't matter, you know. But when it comes to, you know, an MP10 or an MP44, say, for example, I want to get one and I don't want the knees to be gammy. And if the knees are gammy, I'm not going to be happy, you know. Um, but uh, in, in answer to the question, because I kind of went sidetracked there, uh, I started out on Masterpiece and Simon taught me the ways of other lines. And, you know, Jay was there saying about, you know, getting your characters and that kind of thing. There was a set, certain set of characters that I would collect lots of toys of. And I love buying numerous RCs, Ultra Magnus, Springer, Optimus and um, Hot Rod or Rodimus. So... When I moved here, I got my shelves up and I had an Ultra Magnus shelf and I had a Rodimus shelf and I started buying legend figures, you know, and, and sticking in little bits and bobs. And to me, it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter if it's Chug, it doesn't matter if it's Legends, Masterpiece, G, G1 stuff. For me, it's about the character. That's what matters to me. And I like being able to sit there, like I see you behind you, Alexis, you've got loads of toys there, you know, and lots of mixture of different things. And that's great. You know, you, you can, for me, it's about what joy that toy can give you. And I get the same amount of enjoyment out of a G1 hot rod than I do from an MP9. You know, the difference is for the MP9, I, I have to mortgage a house. And, you know, for a G1 one, I just have to go and speak to um, Space Bridge and they'll pick me one up. I, I finally get more joy out of, right now out of a, uh, out of a G1. I did a, I, I've done a review recently of like RC. And trying to fucking get even get the stand up. Some of these fucking figures, yeah. you just can't get them to pose. So G one, <laughs> you can yeah. pose them at least. Yeah, you can do something with them, and that's a lot of that is. I like the fact that the different styles of toys you get different stuff out of. I, I like I like the new RC. You know, I've got her. You know, and Simon and laugh. I've got two of her, one in each mode. Yeah, but you see, I'm I'm okay with that because I can have one in each mode, and they'll sit there on the shelf, and I won't touch them. But I do have a Wee Zhang RC, you know, I, I do mm. have yeah, an RC, stuff that I can pick up and play around and we, me and Simon can have a joke about transforming it and, you know, how bad we are at it, et cetera, et cetera. You know, so I think there's a, there's a different ways that a toy can give you enjoyment. I, I, for me, I couldn't just have, you know, a set of masterpiece things because they'd all just sit there on the shelf and I wouldn't be able to do anything with them. I like to have a mixture. Yeah, so I think the, I, I think I think the joy of MP. Sorry, Paul, just cut over you. I think the joy of MP is that you have almost like a poseable statue that you say to yourself, "I could change that." You know, you talk, you so you're showing someone like so. If you've got like a statue collection, everyone's impressed with that, and you go, "That's pretty good." But you tell it, you come back in now in, in 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 two and a half hours time, and that. That that there might be a oh, rock. Dave. That'd be a, that'd be a that'd be a rock, or it yeah. might be a dolphin. You yeah, don't know yeah. what it's gonna be. Um, it's a triple changer. It turns from a robot to a rock to a dolphin to a sex toy. I mean, I mean, I mean, a robot, a rock, a dolphin. <laughs> really to a sex toy. I, mean, a I mean, a robot. I think I take rock That's not next. Bear. You know, I mean, when I when I try when I transform Jabber, it took me four hours. Oh. Really? <laughs> Four hours. See, that, that's another thing for me with Masterpiece is and another reason why I'm yeah. a collector is because I've, I've, I've seen it where people have been written, writing comments saying, oh, I transformed this Masterpiece Transformer. It only took me an hour. And I'm just thinking, 
I don't want to spend an hour transform. I want I what I loved about it as a kid was the speed you could transform. Mm. That was the point. So you could get from this mode to that mode quickly. So you could continue whatever story you were playing out in your head. That's why Chug's so good. Sit there for an hour doing that, you, or you two can hour flip hours Chug quite quickly, can you? Well, that's not Chug, massive, most can. Chug is like that. The vast majority of it. Every yeah, now and again, you'll minutes. get that figure that comes out that is a fiddly pain in the yeah. ass transform. They are getting more. Fi- I, I'm, I'm, but that Jamie, comes with the, the higher engineering, the higher level of engineering, where right. they're trying to do more with it. Oh, they get Let's more wrap it up now. for tonight. Let's wrap it up for tonight. Right. That's enough because uh, there's still one more thing we want to talk about, and I haven't done it yet. So fingers are plastic. Now um, Simon's lost his uh, internet connection, so it's just zapped no. off. I'm gonna get back online. So, Paddy, it's your time. To steer the helm I'm for things all plastic. <laughs> so um, <laughs> you started uh, about a year before us. I remember seeing Simon talking before going to TFN and um, like uh, many other YouTubers like um, um, Soundway of SG1, they talk about getting excited for Transformers Nation. And that's when I really want to join in and start doing my videos. It's something that you all get done first. So how, how did you get involved with uh, things on plastic? Jesus, that's a good question. Um... I was friends with Greg, uh, who knew Simon, and uh, we we just got talking, and uh, I I didn't even know Simon had a video channel at the time, and I found it, and I was going, oh my god, Simon, look at that, <laughs> what the hell, and uh, I I loved the fact that he was so passionate about um, Transformers, and he was so open about it, you know, because. I, I was very passionate about Transformers, but I won't lie. I kind of hid it from mm. people. You know, I never said a word in work. Like, oh, I collect yeah. Transformers. You know, <laughs> cause, Me too. You know, it, it was, and Simon was so open about it, you know, and we were chatting and he kind of said in passing one day, you know, oh, you should do a, a video review. And I literally curled up into a ball and hid in the corner. <laughs> like, oh, God, Jesus, I couldn't even contemplate that. And he kept on badgering me and badgering me and badgering me. And then eventually... Uh, he says, oh, well, I'm doing a Christmas top 10, you know, for the year, what my favourite toys are. And uh, he was saying, oh, my top 10 is this, 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 and this. And I was like, what are you talking about? Jesus Christ, you know, my top 10 will be blah, 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 blah. And he was like, oh, yeah, that's strong about it, mate. Right, let's see you go and do your top 10 then. So I did it. And um, my first video was, uh, I think it was 2019, top 10, uh, which caused a stir because my number one figure was Jabber. Cool. Uh, yeah, <laughs> yeah, it was caused four hour transformation. Yeah, yeah, it was caused mayhem when I was like, Well, you know, I've done it, it just takes four hours to get from here to here. <laughs> but, um, I was hooked, I loved it, and uh, it allowed me to be very open about my geekery, which mm. I had kept very, very hidden for years, you know. And then I had people at work kind of going, oh My god, I saw you on YouTube. You're one of those Transformers guys. <laughs> <laughs> how, did, how did they know you were on YouTube? It's not like the thing they would search for. Did you send them links? Or? No, uh, it kind of happened by accident because uh, one of my friends at work, his uh, two kids are big into Transformers and he was on YouTube and he found me as if by <laughs> your look, he found me and he goes into the office and he goes, so uh, you like this blur figure, do you? And I... <laughs> I never forget. I I thought I was going to throw up. Simon's just messaged me. Actually, he's probably he's probably off um, off air now. Where is he? He texted me. And said, uh, "Internet's gone. Make sure you plug fingers on plastic uh, <laughs> and talk about Cyclonus. He's a great figure and his big knob." Yeah, actually, I think he just texted that to you, Jamie. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, that's, the, that's just the photo he texted you, Jamie. That's I won't, I won't the photo. <laughs> but then. Um, but yeah, it, it, do you know what? It was a happy accident because uh, I, I had people coming to me in work who I didn't know going, oh, you're that YouTube guy. Oh, you're the Transformers blog. And uh, it was quite, quite nice to be recognized for something that wasn't uh, job related, you know. Uh, and uh, the amount of people I've met doing it and mm. became friends with, you know, would I have joined primetime toys without it who knows who knows it opened so many many doors for me and uh i've had so many friends out of it did you see you find it hard because of your background you come in over from ireland and mm. your family because like my grand my grand's like quite a harsh lady you know 
I mean, she was quite harshly, they would say, you know, one of her sayings was, you know, Betty, you're under six inches of Ulster turf. You know, and Ulster Scott, which to me always encompasses the worst part of Scots and Irish and mix them together. Mm. And um, yeah, and I, I would be quite, like you said, you, you didn't want to show, but you were a geek or you liked your Transformer toys. And and it, it does it, do people in your family know now? Yeah, which, you know, is is odd you know because it, it uh i i was a, a a boxer as a as a kid and as a as a 20 something i'm an old man now so none of that anymore but you're my age you bastard you're young <laughs> <laughs> but, but, but you know i was you know no known for my job and for my work and, and and for all of that and people had a completely wrong idea of me you know they didn't really see the real paddy they just saw what you know what wasn't real, and and it was almost I suppose it does. It's almost like coming out. It's the only way I can describe it. You know, <laughs> where, where you're sort of like yeah. I like Transformers. <laughs> <laughs> and, and and it was a whole new lease of life for me. I honestly feel twenty years younger. You know and about the the channel. So. You had uh, both. Did the staff was it just you and Simon? Because we've got um, X and Fairness. She's part yeah, of it now as it well. Was, it was Simon at the start, and then I joined. And I was saying to Simon, you know, look at the lease of life the channel has had. Mm. With, with me, imagine we had like, and I think I said to him at the beginning, imagine we had five people. Wouldn't that be fantastic? And he was saying, oh well, you know, uh, little Dave. I know little Dave. Maybe I could get Dave in. And Dave came in and joined us. Uh, He's taking a little bit of a sabbatical at the moment, um, probably because of COVID, etc. Which I've been kind of taking a sabbatical myself. I have to say, money back recently, so hopefully he'll he'll come back soon because his knowledge on um, He-Man and uh, non-transformer stuff is just ridiculous. And I love his videos because I learn something new every time I uh, I look at one. Um, and then you know we got Adamus Prime involved, and X and Ferris came in recently, and everyone brings something to the table, you know. And there's a big friendship, there's a big bond there. It's much more than just a channel. Do you know what I mean? These guys are like my brothers and sisters now, do you know, literally. Um, you know, and, we, and and it's allowed me to have friendships with yourself, you know, with, with loads of other people. You know, I I, I speak to Bobby Skullface. Um, I, I talked to Ben from Ben's Connectables all the time. I mean, the first when I met Ben first, I was I was starstruck. I was like, "Can I buy you a drink and can we have a photograph?" And then we talk like normal human beings, you know. Oh, he's so cool, isn't he? I wanted to get a selfie with them first, you know. <laughs> and, uh, and, and, and that, that's cool, though, isn't it? You know, mm. really, really good. And and Bobby Skullfest uses the phrase "the power of toys," doesn't he? You know, and he says that all the time. And I think that is really, really cool that so many people can be connected and together because of their love of toys. You know, like I'm a big football fan, as, as you know, Paul. Here we go. Uh, I know you're not wearing, you're not wearing an Arsenal Because shirt. you had the hoodie on earlier. Scarry thought, United. Oh, I'm not gonna put, you had the hoodie on. I thought, oh, you haven't worn the Arsenal top. And then we started recording. You took your hoodie off. I was like, oh, no, I need to run upstairs and get my Arsenal T-shirt. So um, You really don't. But then it's, no, no. it's two of us. It's anyone, two of us. Anyone I've got who's an Arsenal a, talk. And, and Paddy, you'll, 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 you'll agree with this. Anyone who's a fan of football is a fan of Arsenal. There's no yeah, way you can, you can you can never say you <laughs> love football and you don't <laughs> love just, Arsenal. That's just the biggest load of bollocks I've heard all night, but okay. Uh, Henri, <laughs> the Invincibles, the only Invincibles, the, the, the best past. performing <laughs> team <laughs> in uh, the universe ever. In football, the only reason being Long, like, longest run in the longest run. Thierry Henry was a footballer. He was a fucking French rare, rare clear driver. He well, none of you xenophobia in here, Alexis Jogon. <laughs> <laughs> Jamie <laughs> will not stand for that. All right, Fred. Thierry Henry is my favourite player. He ain't taking my bullshit. He's gonna get. I've I've been following football nearly all my life and I've been you know in in the UK for over 20 years and uh, I've met some amazing people out of football absolutely amazing but 95% of them will be Arsenal and Celtic fans where about some island are you from what's that where about some island are you from I'm from County Offaly in the Midlands because I've got cousins here and I still can't pronounce their name no, no, of course you're not. No, no, no. But most of us can't pronounce each other's names. It's why no, all, right. all my family are from Ireland. My surname's Farrelly. 
And even I'm not sure if that's definitely right. Is it Farrelly? <laughs> yeah, Farrelly. Farrelly, Farrelly. You have to say it really quickly, Paul. Farrelly. 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 Yeah. My cousins is called Ella. Yeah, my is it? And it took me until I was about 32 to realise that his name was <laughs> Ella and not Lala. <laughs> my cousins were the worst. What? I thought they were called Co Ban. It's not, is it? It's a Chevron. Oh, <laughs> yeah, right, 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 listen, that listen. You'd difficult. write the cards out and be like, "Happy, happy <laughs> Christmas, Co Ban." I can't. Ban. Listen, I can't. I'm I so, I can't. For our viewers, for our viewers, this is a this is exceptional trap. <laughs> no, 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 no. I can't. I can't not tell you this oh. story. Okay. My sister was given birth to her daughter in Canada, <coughs> you know, seven, let's say seven years ago, all right? And uh, the midwife, Canadian girl, okay? So everyone's running around, you know, baby, baby, blah, 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 blah. And of course, my sister sounds like me. So she sounds, you know, straight from the bog, you know, the, the thickest Irish accent you've got. And uh, the Canadian's like, oh, you're Irish, oh, da, 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 that's fantastic, blah, 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 blah. And she's like, fucking shut up and get this baby out of me. <laughs> and, uh, you know, after we got the baby out and everything was, you know, slightly calmer, um, the mum and my sister and nurse are having a conversation, right? And the uh, sister says, what's your name? And she says, my name is Shabonahan, you know? Ooh. And my sister was like, I beg your fucking pardon? What's your name? Shabonahan. My name is Shabonahan. And my sister was like, she said, I think she's just given birth, right? She's exhausted. And she's looking at this nurse and she says, do you mean Siobhan? <laughs> <laughs> and she says, granted. And the nurse was like, no, no, my name is Shabonahan. <laughs> was like, I don't think it is. <laughs> Siobhan, right? About two hours later, Sister has been taken out of the uh, theatre, right, with baby, called Quiva. Again, try and spell that. Fucking insane. <laughs> uh, but, but she uh, she overhears the nurse on the phone to her mother, right, as she comes out of the theatre, and the nurse is going, "You've been calling me the wrong fucking name. For years. I've just had some." Sicker in there saying my name is Siobhan. <laughs> and of course, my sister is going, Bye, Siobhan. See you, Bye. Oh, God. It's, oh. In Canada, there's so many of them speak Gaelic, Scottish Gaelic, and Irish yeah. Gaelic. And there's so many of them, they, they don't know how to pronounce the words anymore. And the freaking spelling is like, Oh, so like, Ishkaba and stuff like that. And they're, and they're going Quasar or Quasar. You know, you're like, No, it's Gaelic. It's, uh, we were going to Dublin a couple of years ago, three years ago, 2018, and the <coughs> plane was going fucking all over the places when that storm hit um, the west side of England, and it was easy jet as well, so they they carry about enough petrol to get you from Maidstone to London, and so the pilot said we have to turn around and, and land at Liverpool, so the plane turned around, and I was next to my, I had my one-year-old, my wife, and a really drunk Irish person to the left of me. Sorry about that. It wasn't you. <laughs> it was about 50 years you old. You should be, Paddy. I was really happy because like, all my family are Irish and this Irish guy was going, oh, what the fuck's going on? And I was going, oh, they're, they're turning the plane around. We've got to go to Liverpool. He's like, oh, for fuck's sake. So they turned the plane around. It landed. But when it landed, I'm not joking. If you've seen those videos on YouTube where the wings are going like that, mm. proper all over, and you don't know if the wings going to touch first or if the wheels are going to touch first. And so it finally landed and it thudded down and everyone was screaming and like all the lights were going and stuff. And then smack down and landed. And everyone started clapping. And then this Irish guy next to me stood up and went, why the fuck are you clapping? It's the wrong fucking airport. <laughs> the, whole, <laughs> the whole plane went silent. Here, lads, <laughs> hand up who's supposed to be in Liverpool. No, fuck <laughs> off then. <laughs> oh, Oh dear. Oh, Take the boy out of Dublin. Other than that bombshell. <laughs> yeah. Is anybody have an Irish story? <laughs> <laughs> well, no, oh, I, I've got I, plenty. I, 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 love, all, I love how all our, tra- all our stories are transformer related. We should probably end the show. <laughs> well, um, <laughs> this is turning into the after show. It's chat. a discussion. It's a discussion. The discussion's cool. It's the Silence, Silence just sent me a message saying, Can you I add a you. That <laughs> Kingdom? Yeah, yeah, that too. Kingdom Psychonus <laughs> is the best figure released in years. <laughs> right, so now I'll just say, uh, So, um, what do you think? If Simon was still here, Paddy, what was the greatest figure released in years? 
What would Simon say? He would say Kingdom Cyclonus, Paul. Oh, there we go. I, and he also, I, also I, tell me to plug the channel. So I would have said that his uh, Dinobot um, comparison would be quite good. He had so uh, Simon did a very good comparison of fan stories versus Giga Power, and he did it. He didn't. It? He didn't do it all together. Yeah. He didn't stay. He didn't stage it. So he had stage yeah. one, and he compared the bots through the modes. And he compared them all the way to the end. He had all all five of each, so ten yeah. bots in total. And um, I love that video because he, yeah. he gave a he gave a genuine. It was a subjective opinion about it, right? And objective opinion as well because there were differences between the different yeah. bots, right? But overall, there's winners all round. So if you want to know about fan stories or gigapower dime bots, check out Fingers of Plastic. I, I think when I first watched Fingers in Plastic, it was mostly by accident. It was to do with the charity event they were doing oh, yeah. and, I was, and I was watching the videos and after watching a lot of the confirmation of other stuff I just left it on and um, fingers in plastic and one after and I just thought my god I thought it was so professionally done like he's been obviously it looks like he's been really scripted and edited really well yeah Simon's been Simon doesn't give himself enough credit I think you know mm. uh, I, I, I it, it's such an honour to be be part of that channel it really is, and uh, to come on here, you know, is is a feather in my cap. Oh, so, it's I'm, all Paul and now. I'm very, very happy to be here. You know, um, not just because Paul's a gooner and he's my mate, but <laughs> you're the two gooners in the world, mate. My, my partner, <laughs> yeah. she supports Arsenal as well. It's just yeah, made in. Like it well. <laughs> good, you know, uh, the only thing I need to do is to uh, get Paul a Celtic shirt before I leave. So he's. Uh, <laughs> no, don't do that, Paul, because I would speak to you then. <laughs> <laughs> I've always been Celtic, and most of my friends are Rangers fans because I've worked in Scotland all of my life, and I'll always be Celtic. <laughs> good man, good man. Never mind. Eh? Have so, you had a Celtic uh, season ticket for a party? I no, have. I haven't. <laughs> no, do you know what? That was because uh, my plan when I came up here was <clears throat> that I'd, I'd have it because I've got an Arsenal season ticket, yeah, uh, you know, and, and thank heavens I have because I'm going back, but um. I uh, I wanted to be you know to have Celtic season ticket and an Arsenal season ticket. I've put myself on the waiting list, you know. So um, if I get one, then uh, I'll be coming up to you, bud, and asking you to have me over for the weekend. What I've noticed with a lot of Scots going down to, I mean, the reason I got a Celtic season ticket was, and it was a Jock Steenstein, was because I had friends moving to London to work, and they wanted to keep their season tickets, mm. so they would just give it out to other people, so you'd be paying yeah. like half price and. And a lot of them, they've just never moved back. Right, I've gone to finish the show. We're just chatting now. Right, I'll do one, All two, right. three, and I'll finish the show. All right, one, two, three. Uh, that's brilliant. So thank you so much for joining us tonight, um, Paddy, and Fingers on Plastic, and Simon. Um, it's been amazing. Obviously, we'll uh, stick all the links to Fingers on Plastic in the description below. Um, Alexis, what is the Instagram, please, sir, for tonight? Transformers the show. Transformers the show. And Jamie, what is the uh, Twitter? Twitter account is TF Show UK. So it's Transformers to Show UK, but it's TF Show UK. Andy, who's your favourite member of Love Actually? School I friend. like all the boys, all the boys, all the boys. <laughs> the boys are so boys. sexy. Uh, thanks, Andy, for that. Right, and we will see you next <laughs> month and next week on Transformers to Show. Bye bye. I want to drink wine. Arrowfire, thank you so much. That was awesome. Uh, right, on to the most important of one, German again. Three, two, one. <laughs> I bet he'll get it before us. He's such a dick. See if he does, Paul. <laughs> don't have a money show that week. <laughs> <laughs> do I need to? I, I, oh, Alexis, yeah. I just want to do his pickups. Right, come on, this dip. Yeah. Okay, we'll three. Just cut him out. <laughs> two. So I've got Scottish. Three. On my first mark. <laughs> three. <laughs> two. One. Hello. Welcome to episode Better 59. Better speaking German. Oh, you minge. Why do you do that? <laughs> What was right, three, two, one. <laughs> I, 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 I need an empty bottle. I need to knock, knock a bit this, this back first. We'll do, do it rap again. Instead, do a rap. <laughs> Your motherfuckers is Rohan coming up straight with the plan. Rohan's my man. <laughs> You've got to keep that in. You've got to use it. <laughs> yeah, I'm just can we so get a bit relieved of... he didn't say anything inappropriate. <laughs> <laughs> oh. I didn't like it that his battery was on 11% as well, the person who... <laughs> There you go. So, right. The person, let's let the battery get down to 11. Can I just have a second, please, just to push my headache back into my head?
Oh, whatever, right. whatever the issue we've had with Alexis and Dolphins, the most <laughs> important factor here is who lets their phone down to eleven percent. Exactly. Yes. We that we keep it real unforgivable. On it. It's fair. We we you know, these are real <sighs> topics that we need to discuss. Yeah, wank off as many humpback whales as you want, but do not let your phone go down to eleven <laughs> percent. Yeah, what's going on? 